What's up, y'all? This is a mess. Uh, it's always a mess. I can't never get shit right on day one. Who is that? Live chat on. Who am I? Hey, girl. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? I'm late. I'm running behind. I overslept, y'all. I fell asleep. I was trying to give y'all. Uh, well, I wasn't trying to get all the different set up in the kitchen. I was actually trying to set up the old way, but I forgot. Can't even use it, my other tripod. So we kind of leaning right now because this tripod ain't right. Um, and I got to put up the ingredients and stuff on the laptop, so hold on. And then my kitchen light up there. Remember, it blew out last week. Yeah, I forgot to uh fix that. This ain't right. Shut up. <laughs> I, I'm not late. If you look at the time that I put in the chat section and the time I updated on the comment board, it said it was delayed 15 minutes and I was going to start at 6.15. Booyah. I've been going a minute and 15 seconds. And according to my clock, that was 6.15. <laughs> so you know if you're late. Um, I got to figure out how to do this setup. I don't like it because I can't. I don't want to be looking at y'all like that because then I have to keep turning around and they give me all my wide ass back for the uh but I can't really set it there because I don't want you too close to me and then the light back there I said my clock wrong you know what my clock is just not look my clock is on, still on old time it's saying it's 5 15 right now which means 6 15 they like to say 6 17 I've been recording for a minute and 57 seconds. I ain't late. Now, hold on, let me turn this other light up. That ain't working for me. I don't know how we're gonna do this, y'all, for real. Cause I need to be able to like talk to y'all through the camera. Yeah, just turn the light off. Hey, R. Harris, what's going on? We got Paul R. Harris. We got Just Be Real in the building. I see a few other people in here. Um, I guess they come in and out. I don't want to do that. Hold on. Let's do that. Bam. So, we making a lasagna tonight. Last month, uh, Jacob Jennings, he suggested we do lasagna. I have never made one in my life. I have, this is going to be new for me. However, Jacob hadn't gave me, hey, TR, what's going on? Jacob had not gave me a recipe. My dog is over there in the background eating, so y'all probably hear him. So, I sent a shout out. Lady V, what's going on? I'm just going to give you a shout out right now. Lady V posted uh, a lasagna recipe for me on the community board. And I went out and got all the ingredients to that lasagna recipe. And that's what we make it tonight. It says it's a 55 minute cook. So, hopefully, this tastes good. Y'all know so far, ain't none of my stuff been looking exactly like the picture when I go off a recipe. When I go off the top of my head, Hey, Lady B is cooking with you. You go, girl. You go, girl. So hopefully we don't skip no step because I don't want it to be like the last one when we forgot the rice. Um, I forgot to look and see what size pan I needed. So I got a glass dish. Um, and I got a oh aluminum pan. I'm not sure which is the right one I'm going to use. For real. Um, let me lose. Hold on. And then I flipped off y'all. I don't know if y'all smell this like this in, in Italy. If I got any of my UK people in here, on my box of noodles, they got lasagna with an E. I ain't never seen lasagna spelled with an E. We spell it with A here in America. At least in the Midwest, where I was taught, lasagna was always spelled with A. The G is always silent because that's how thugs move. You know, so we got the lasagna. They don't sell cremates here. I'm a Midwest girl. I like cremates. I say, I've been waiting for those canisters you have. Do you think they work well to keep food fresh? Which ones you talking about? The white ones? These? These canisters? Yes, man, everything is fresh. Remember I had the little, the little weevil atrocity when we was putting the flour, you know how we put the flour stuff in the refrigerator and sugar and everything to put in there? And you put it in here? Yes, baby. Got a seal. It locks. Bam, snap. This is good. Yeah, this works good. I bought that set from Walmart. It was like... 
one, two, three, four, four piece set for fourteen dollars at Walmart. And then I was gonna order some more with the for lasagna noodles online. And I saw they had like tall ones for spaghetti and stuff like that. Um, what's the name again? What's what name? Lasagna? What you talking about, Charlie? What's what name? I ain't sure what you talking about. So I gotta have my laptop behind me. But it's weird, weird as shit. But if I put my laptop too close to the stove, it's gonna have all kind of grease and shit popping off of it. The containers. Mainstay. Anytime I buy like stuff in Walmart, I'm buying generic. If it work, it works good as the good ones. That's mainstay. But I had also bought these. The ceramic ones, because my kids are supposed to have a red aesthetic. And these got screw on tops. But then I found out that although I love the color of them, I don't like to put stuff in them because I can't see what's in them until I can see. My tablespoon. Y'all know I always drop some silverware before we get started. One of the tablespoons. They come with a tablespoon for each one. So unless you're looking through the top, you don't know what's in it. And I like to be able to see the levels of my stuff. So ain't nothing I got here with croutons. I think I got like gravy packets in the other one. And then the rest of them empty. My mama could put her uh, coffee and shit in her if she wants to, but I don't even use those even though I want it. Ceramic containers because like I said my aesthetic for my kitchen is turning red. Like I'm all my appliances turn red. Like my skillet used to be red. It just burnt so much so many times. It ain't red no more. But um let me move my laptop. I gotta put it somewhere where I can see it. And I'm gonna charge it over there right now. So I can get this damn recipe off of here and cook at the same time. Because like I said, I forgot that Keita was doing her streaming now. And I'm letting her borrow my mini tripod that I used to have sitting right here on top of the toaster oven. I saw this thing on Facebook. Y'all let me know if this is true or not. If y'all over 40 and y'all have a toaster oven, put yes in the comment section. If you under 40 and you, you have one or you don't have one, put no. Hey, Kisha Charmaine, what's going on? So yeah, if you under 40 and you do not own a small little confection oven, toast oven, on, uh, put no. If you're over 40 and you got one, put yes. Because there was a poll on Facebook that said only people over 40 still have these little small ovens in the kitchen. I love them. They quick, they're convenient. For two years when I was in St. Louis, my oven had went out on my, my major stove. And I didn't bother to get it fixed. I kept using my little small ones. Stuff was getting done quick and easy. I wouldn't take that much heat. It cut down on my gas bill. So, so far, Charlie, like, yeah. And Kuma, like, no, nah, she ain't got one to y'all. Like, yeah. Uh, see, Keisha under 40, she loves them, but she ain't got one. So, you fit the, you fit the statistics that the people under 40 actually don't own one. I, and I got to get a new one because I got to get one that's going to be red to match my aesthetics. Especially when I move, I want to get a red stove, I want to get, I want to get all red appliances. I don't know why, because I might change my mind again later. Best peach, the best peach cobbler. Thank you, girl. I know you're talking about mine. I used to make my cousin peach cobbler. I always made it in this little video oven right there. <laughs> okay, so let me pull up my community board so I can make sure we got all the ingredients today. Um, I do want to say, because somebody came on that got a little bit, hey, Paula, what's going on? Hey, Mitch and Jay. You say you didn't, you had one though, you got it from your mom. See, your mom was old school, old 40. I don't even call this old school. She had so much old crib, now you gotta get a new one. I might have to gift you one, girl. What color you want? I will gift you one, Keisha. Um, yeah, I had somebody come on to the chat in one of the streams. Y'all probably missed it as I am talking. Okay, so if you when, uh, were not here when I first started this off, I initially stated that I wanted to start doing a cooking live stream or cook while I'm doing my live stream because it saves time because I usually always cook on Sunday and I was doing my live stream on Sunday so to kill two birds in one stone I was gonna cook while I was doing streaming so this is technically not a cooking alone I give you all the ingredients that I put in there I tell you what my mistakes are and we will show you what it is at the end but it's not my role here to come in and teach you how to cook this dish. I am not a chef. I am not a cook. I'm just like a thick girl that like to eat. And I like to try different things sometimes. So that's the whole purpose. But I would like share 
the ingredients and the recipe. Um, if we got that available for you, what the fuck I do with the recipe? Oh, it was on Travel and Talk Tuesday. Okay, let me find that video. Cause Lady V hooked me up with this. So if you was expecting me to come teach you how to perfect some shit, I ain't the one. I'm not the one. This is just my normal chat that I would do once a month. Air fryer. Oh, that's also a toast oven. <sighs> Lady V, I would give her. If my mama hadn't bought that air fryer for me, I'd give it away. I don't like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you Keisha got one. Most people under 40 already got an air fryer though. Okay, let's see. It's slow going. So Lady B gave me the recipe. Bam, there we go. So the recipe that we using tonight is coming from goodcheapeats.com. And they spell lasagna with an E too. So I guess that must be, I don't know, if this a, uh, anybody in this group chat spell lasagna with an E? I always spelled it with an A. So this is I wouldn't, I wouldn't even call it lasagna. I would call it lasage or lasagne or something like that. I don't know. Lasagna just ain't ringing my bell. Okay, so recipe, recipe, recipe. Ingredients, ingredients, ingredients. Okay, so this is supposed to be cook time. Prep time is supposed to be 15 minutes. Cook time is supposed to be 40 minutes. It's supposed to be a 55 minute job. Last time we had something supposed to take 55 minutes, it took us two to three hours. So we don't see how fast we can get done with this. Okay, so this is an Italian dinner. Now, in the recipe, they got lasagna with an egg. Ain't that something? It's supposed to serve to your people. It's supposed to be 300 calories per serving. So, if you don't trust the recipe, spell the lasagna with a damn E. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But the picture looks so good. I was like, I ain't never spelled with an E. But they got to spell with an E in the title. And then in the recipe itself, it had a lasagna with an A. And then it goes to yeah, they like flip flopping back and forth. I don't know what's going on with that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I need to contact my Italian friends to see what they say. Okay, so. All right, we got one pound of ground beef. I'm already flip flopping some stuff that I'm using. Y'all already know me. So, I don't have ground beef. We got some ground turkey. I thought I owned some ground beef and I didn't do that. So, we got the ground beef. Uh, one clove of garlic chopped. Like I said, I'm already doing alternates. I don't have no chopped up garlic clove. I got some minced garlic that we gonna substitute for the garlic clove. Y'all know I love garlic. So whatever what clove is, don't matter to me because I'm just gonna put a big ass spoonful in there because I like garlic. Okay, Lady we say that lady used to live in France. Oh, that's probably why she said it like that. But Lady V said this is delicious. She said she tried this recipe 12 years ago and she ain't never went back to another lasagna recipe. So we finna see how this go. I had never seen a recipe with chicken stock in it, but we finna do this. Um, one tablespoon of salt. Y'all know I don't uh, use white salt, per se. I use that Lowry's, that Lowry's garlic salt. So that's what I'm gonna use in place of the, the teaspoon. I'm already messing up, one teaspoon of salt. Okay, one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I think I bought those, I did. Ounces. Right there, 28 ounces crushed tomatoes. We got a glare in here because it's light outside. It'll be dark soon. Um, what else we need? One fourth cup of fresh basil chopped. I love me some fresh basil, but I don't have a garden anymore. And I got offended when I saw the word fresh because I was like, I ain't got no fucking garden no more. I got it in my personal feelings. So we ain't doing nothing fresh right now. <laughs> but if you got fresh basil, <laughs> we gonna use a fourth of a cup of fresh basil. Me, I'm gonna use some dry basil seasoning, some dry basil, that's what we gonna use. I gotta see how much this is equate to a cup of fresh. I don't know, I just sprinkle it, we figure it out. All right, then it says fourth cup of water. Oh, water is easy to obtain. I'm not gonna, I got water, but this is my water I'm gonna drink. Uh, one cup of chicken stock. I got Swanson's chicken broth. 100% natural, no GMO, no MSG, 33% less sodium. I got a cup of that. Um, eight ounces of cream cheese. Bam. Cream cheese go. I always use Philadelphia. I have a, uh, some things you just can't substitute. I don't use um, any other brand but Philadelphia cream cheese when I use cream cheese. So, got my eight ounces. Yeah, it's eight ounces on there. Bam, eight ounces. Okay, um. 12 ounces of mozzarella cheese. Now, 
this is another place where it get a little sketchy, right? Because I'm not a big mozzarella fan. <laughs> so, I did get some Sargento. I like Sargento better than Kraft. Although I still like Kraft cheese. When I taste Sargento, it tastes uh, closer to fresh cheese than the um, Kraft does. So, this thing right here says two cups. Right there, say it's two cups. I don't know how that factor out because it's, oh, it's eight ounces in weight. Okay, so it's two cups. I didn't want a whole lot of mozzarella. I like different cheeses like Asiago cheese and Romano and shit like that. So I also got, for my third cup, I got um, six cheese Italian. That's what I got. So instead of me using three cups of mozzarella, I'm going to use maybe two cups of mozzarella. And then I'm going to use like a third cup. It's going to be... What we got here, mozzarella, provolone, romano, fontina, asiago, and parmesan. So you can never have too much cheese. Hey there, what's going on? I'm also glad to see y'all here. NKB in the building. Um, I always switch NKB up. I call it NKB once and I call it the whore the next. Y'all know who, who I'm talking about, y'all. So yeah, we can never go wrong with too much cheese. Well, that's not true. That's cheese will stop your ass up. If you eat a whole lot of cheese, your body, you'll be constipated, you might get back there, you can't go to the toilet, or it'll make you go to the bathroom too much, and then you'll be on the toilet pooping a lot. Say, this is going to be good. We hope so, Erica. Hey, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. So, I got all the ingredients over here. Let me pull the live stream up also, so I can see y'all chat better. And then, um, say, yeah, be looking crazy, lots of cheese. And you be all stopped the hell up, your bowels be all, can jump or come. I don't know what my glass is. I want to say this is a, they usually have it on the bottom. They don't have it on the bottom of this. I think this might be too small. So we might end up using this big pan. Like the other day, y'all, I was craving, um, like Easter. I made some turkey ham and some dressing, some macaroni and stuff. So I had, went to the dollar store and got me some pans. And that dress was fire too. Some cranberry sauce. I was craving it this Friday. So, um. Oh, no, don't watch later. Then we watch it later. Play live stream. Put it on mute. Get the chat pulled up. And so hopefully I can show y'all stuff at the same dog on time. Now, the only thing I didn't put up on the community board is the instructions. So if y'all cooking with me, Lady V probably already got this under control. Y'all have to preheat y'all oven to 400 degrees. So I'm going to hit my preheat. My oven preheats takes five minutes or six minutes to preheat. I don't know y'all be want to see all these steps. Here's the steps of poetry. Preheating the oven. Oh, that's 405. 400. Start. Bam. The preheat section is going. So I'm preheating. Hey. We preheating. Um, I, I had no idea what I wanted to talk about doing this stream, like I said, because I just, it's basically for me to just eat for real. And get dinner cooked for everybody. And I started an hour early because I don't want to be doing lasagna real late at night. Um, I said, if you have something you want to talk about, drop it in the comment section, DM me, email me. I didn't get any response from that. So cool. Ain't nobody got nothing specific or that hard they want to talk about. I have not got a third letter. But I want to let y'all know that the person who sent letter number two, How to Live with My Mama, Get Along with My Mama, she greatly appreciates everybody's feedback she's taking into consideration she's gonna let me know how i go with it when she sit down and talk to her mom haven't heard back from her yet but um she said that she really appreciates the advice um her and her mom are gonna try to work it out for sure living together she ain't trying to kick her mama out yet just yet they're gonna try to work out in the rain so they both can cohesively live together so she wanted to thank us for sure for all of our advice um so that's not a nine inch pan i really want to measure this Cause I want to have a nine inch pan. My middle finger is three inches long. That's three. Bam. Three. This is a nine inch dish. That's real. Okay. That's nine inch. But it's, it's funny though because my lasagna noodles seem like they're going to be too long there. That's interesting. Okay. What am I supposed to make the lasagna noodles? The, here we go. The lasagna can be frozen prior to making. I ain't even making no frozen. Chill it for freezing for best results. Throw the lasagna completely in the refrigerator before proceeding 
See, this is my problem right here. I don't read all the instructions. It said to cook the lasagna noodles first, put them in the freezer. <laughs> they should have had that shit in the damn instructions. <laughs> Thought the lasagna completely in the refrigerator before proceeding with the baking instructions. Ain't this some shit? Okay, I need to bake the lasagna. Bring four to six quarts of water to the boil, add salt, add pasta. Boil and cook for eight minutes. Stir it up gently, drain and set aside on a sheet pan. Cover with cooking spray, prevent sticking. And then it says, yeah, this ain't cooking 24 hours in advance too. Well, we not cooking our lasagna 24 hours in advance, so shit, we fucked that step up already. We always messing something up with this. Lady V, did you cook your lasagna? You ain't heard of that step either? Okay, Lady V. She said she's made this before. Have you ever cooked your lasagna in advance like that? I have. All right, got my big quart pot. How much water I supposed to be putting in? Bring four to six quarts of water. I'm not gonna measure that water. We finna just fill it up, and we gonna go with that. Put some salt in there. Get the pot going. Get the noodles going, and we just gotta get some fucking chit chat. I mean, I could pick the meat and everything, so the meat could be ready. We could do that. I could do that. All right. So this is a quick fire. <laughs> The same way we had to do that rice the last time. Putting that water on. Put it on super boil so it could boil real fast. Gotta add some salt to it. So the noodles won't stick. And then it'll be cooked in eight minutes. I had never heard to the oven. I mean, you can soak the pasta in hot water to get them all dente. I will finish cooking in the stove. Soak them. Well, it said. But I got to soak them in hot water. So if I'm going to put them in hot water, I might as well just boil them. Because it's time to boil for eight minutes. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to boil it for eight minutes. Um, okay, so grease the 9 to 13. Oh, it's a 9 to 13 inch pan. So my glass dish won't work. We can't, this is not definitely ain't 13. It's 9, but it ain't 9. Okay. So we're going to use the aluminum foil pan. I gotta make sure it don't sink in the bottom. It said grease it. It's something I'm missing. Cause I can hold. I have bought the unsalted butter too. The unsalted butter was for that mozzarella bread. I'm not gonna make that mozzarella bread because I know for a fact I have to start that mozzarella bread at least two hours before it's supposed to be in the oven for baking. So I'm gonna make that a totally separate stream. Say so boil work too, I believe, as long as you don't cook them all the way. Okay, so our hair said no. Boil them. Don't cook them all the way. Let me see. Let me see. It says bring four to six water and boil uncooked for eight minutes. Drain and set aside. So, what I'm gonna do is after I boil them for the eight minutes, I'm gonna stick them in the freezer and do a flash freeze. I seen that on, uh, what's that man's name? On Hell's Kitchen with Gordon Ramsay. They flash freeze shit. I'm gonna do that too. After I boil them, we're gonna boil them real fast. But I gotta grease my pan. Hold on. So, the garlic bread that I'm gonna make today is gonna be my hood version of it, where I mix my own. I take some minced garlic, I mix it with some oregano, some basil, a teaspoon of sugar, and I smush that shit up. Like, I, I want one of those little pots that you can, like, make your own spices and grind them on up. I don't have one of them. So I'm going to take a spoon, and I'm going to smush it up in a bowl. And then I'm going to take this nature's own bread, and I'm going to spread that spread on top of the bread and put it in the oven. And that's going to be our garlic bread. Oh, I was like, what the hell is that? The, the, the oven. I feel the oven. I forgot about that. It is just beef. scared the shit out of me. Say, you love my kitchen, by the way. Thank you. I love it too. I wish I had an island in the center though. Because if I had an island in the center, then I could put all the food right there. I still didn't uh, get the table. Hey, Adele, welcome down here. Um, I still didn't get the table that I wanted to get. Like I said, I had canceled the order when uh, all this essential stuff started happening. All right, so I'm greasing my pan. I use Pam. I got Pam with butter, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be using butter. That's what made me think about the butter. So I'm going to use a regular old pan. The pan is already clean. I washed them out the other day. You know, spray it on up there. All sides and everything. Bam, pan is sprayed. 
Okay, what else I need to do? In a large skillet, cook the ground beef, the salt, and the garlic over medium heat until it's no longer peak. I'm going to put that in that pot. Then I'm going to stir in the crushed tomatoes, the basil, two tablespoons of garlic chives, and the water, and then I'm going to set aside. Then how large this skillet got to be? Because that seems like a lot of shit for my little skillet. I'm going to put the meat, the tomatoes, and the water all in this one pot. Hey, Jazzy Nicole. Say so you got your rubber made ready. I got you, girl. They said this make 12 servings. There's only three people in this house, so I got you. We got you with a big old plate. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out this stuff. In a small sauce pot. See, this is why you're supposed to read the instructions first. So I'm supposed to do a large skillet. I'm going to do the ground beef, the salt, the garlic, the chives. Oh, I'm going to stir the chives and the crushed tomatoes and the basil and the water later. I'm going to put that to the side. In a small pot, I'm going to heat the chicken broth. I'm going to add the cream cheese and I'm going to whisk it to blend. I need my whisker. I need to use my whisker. Hold on. I don't know where the hell my whisker is. It's not in that drawer. We used my whisker last time. I had to mix some stuff up. Hold on, I'm coming behind the, uh, the thing now, y'all. Oh, I'm gonna whisker. Whisker. So, like, I don't actually have a blender any longer, but I kept the whisking tongs. So I can whisk stuff on my own. I'm supposed to stick it to a blender. So this is my whisker. It says to whisk the cheese. Whisk, whisk the cream cheese with the chicken broth. That's interesting. Then in the prepared pan, spread one half of the meat. Sprinkle a little bit of cheese over the meat. Lay half of the uncooked noodles over the cheese. Wait a minute. Now it says, don't cook, don't cook the noodles. Rest the noodles. Rest the noodles. It says, it is pouring down. Just Y'all just heard that rain just come through like that? Recipe notes. It says, cook the lasagna. Noodles first. But in the recipe, but then in the instructions, it says, don't cook it. Do uncook noodles. Huh. Okay. Okay. The lion coming, you? Hey, the rest of the sauce. Mm-hmm. Okay. There. Mm. That don't make no sense. I need y'all advice. Lady V says she never cook her noodles. They cook in the oven. Or her hair is very interesting. So I really think just the salt, let's heat it up there. But I know what I'm gonna do then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump that water out. The noodles gonna bake in the oven. The recipe is on goodcheapeats.com. I also have the recipe in the uh, the ingredients in the link of this video. I think I put the, the actual link itself. Let me see. Nope, I didn't. So let me go ahead and put it in there. I'm gonna drop it in the comment section. Come on through. Tina says, hi, but I didn't go. You can say hi, you know how to use your mouth. Use your words, Tina. Use your words. No. Okay. So, paste. There we go, y'all. That's the link to the recipe right there. So, anybody want to uh, get the recipe? So, if the pasta is cooked al dente, it will be it will save on the baking time in the oven. Okay, we can turn this pot off. Because <laughs> I don't know about the... Uh, the you see the signal keep fading? No, you just put your hair in my face. No, no. The signal keep fading. Where's your laptop on? My laptop is on upstairs. My phone is now on T-Mobile. Because it kept dropping the signal. Switch it. Okay, in the middle of it? Yeah. I'm switching. Everybody say hi to you, Kena. Rude, evil self. Hello. I'm talking to you. Move. But the signal was still stronger down here. No, we know. So switch it to this one. We might lose the signal a little bit on the. Oh, that's on the laptop. I'm gonna record this one. It ain't no matter. Come on, kick it back in. You can do it. 
You can do it. Refresh it. I need to refresh. Okay. It might just be your laptop. It's raining outside too. If y'all getting a messed up signal, I'm so sorry. Uh, it's good on my phone still. I'm on T-Mobile now on my phone because it kept kicking me off the internet altogether. Man, it's your phone. Man, why can't do my stuff? Because I found it just fine. Okay, so one of the problems that I'm having, because I got the camera right here, because you got the small tripod. I forgot about it. Because you got to use it for your stream. I'm not streaming until after you stream. I thought you were starting like at 8. Mm. I got to eat first before I stream. Oh, well, shit. Okay. Oh. Um, say, I bet your lasagna don't be sliding either. Sounds like it come out very. So the lasagna, that ain't normal for the lasagna to slide. I've always eaten lasagna that slid. Like when you put the fork in it, then it slides all off the to. cheese. Yeah, I thought it was supposed to slide because of the cheese. Okay, but whatever it is, we gonna do this. We gonna we gonna follow this easy lasagna without cooking our noodles. You take that pot and dump that water out because we don't need it now. It's a waste of salted water, but that's okay. I need another pot though. Little ah. video. I hate this pot. I have these aluminum steel pots. I hate them. Everything in them burn. What are my other good pots? Yeah. There we go. You're going to stick with the aesthetic. Everything red. So, we're going to do this all at the same time. We already got the oven preheated. Um. Uh, mm. Just put them back in stove for now, cause I really don't need it no anymore. Point to these steps, but I'm gonna use it anyway, cause it says I gotta mix it. I gotta cook the ground beef, and then I gotta after I cook it, then I gotta add in the tomatoes and all that stuff together and the water. It seems like it's gonna feel, it's gonna overfill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be too much. So I'm gonna have to transfer it to that pot there. Okay, so we got our grease pan. Now I gotta. Why are you always in the way? Got the skillet for the meat. I really need you to be on that side because I don't need you popping all over the damn place. Okay. And like I said, I'm using ground turkey instead of ground beef. That's, that's, I don't know if that's about a, can't never have too much meat either. Y'all seeing all my fat meat. Y'all got all my neck up there. So, turn that uh, back on. Do you want the small tripod? The who? The small tripod? No, I guess we're good right now. Cause I don't feel like removing this camera. So, um, cook the ground beef. Add the salt. We gonna just shake it. Let's see if I can get y'all. Maybe I could do that. Hello. Oh, that's crooked. We crooked. See, I see, I can't see it right there. Okay, that's a little bit better, but then I can't see the screen. That's why it don't. I'm shaking. shaking. No, I'm it said a teaspoon. Teaspoon's all I'm putting. I'm shaking, shaking. It's a laptop. Yeah, because we switched off of this. Okay. What else going on? Oh, the recipe. You switched off on it. Oh, So, salt. What else? The garlic. Give me the garlic. Give me a spoon so I can put the garlic in here. I don't think it's good. Yes, because I'm using garlic. Oh, cream cheese. <laughs> Okay, so now I got, it said use uh, a clove, a garlic. I'm not measuring my garlic because I like garlic, so I'm using the heat. This was going in mine. This big ass heat. Here's the heat. That's what I'm putting in there. I always stir pasta and dishes with my wooden spoon. I don't know why. Beef, salt, garlic, over medium heat. And I don't have beef, so I'm using ground turkey. So that's what we got going on here. We're going to mix all that up in there. Cook that until it's no longer pink. I don't need no pink meat. I don't do pink meat. All right, and then I'm gonna put the camera back where y'all can see me. Yeah, and we can get back to talking to me while it's cooking. That's how we gonna do this. So y'all gonna get the gonna get the camera to move and stuff like that. So let me tell y'all what happened to me. Last week I went to work. Hey, beautiful son, what's going on? We have heard chatting and uh, I'm cooking while we chatting. We doing some lasagna. Um, we did a little poll to see if people over 40 in the group owns a little con conventional toaster oven and the people that's under 40 don't have one. 
So if you over 40, you got one, put yes in the comment section. If you under 40 and you don't have one, put no. Right now, the, 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 the survey I saw on Facebook, really accurate. People over 40 got one. Say, so I hope this counts as cooking in my, on my end. <laughs> It counts as cooking. It counts as cooking. So uh, we got that cooking. Um, I say, I'm gonna try to move all this stuff together so we can all be ready. I don't have one, and I'm over 40. See, beautiful soul is an exception. She is unique. You know what I'm saying? They said on Facebook the only people over 40 still own these, and people under 40 usually don't. People under 40 usually got an air fryer. But beautiful soul, she one of our exceptions, the old 40, and she got one. She's the unique individual. You know what I'm saying? It's all that uniqueness coming out of her. <laughs> so, um, the recipe, like I said, is in the chat section. If y'all want to do this recipe, like I said, I'm not here to teach y'all. You say you have one, but you almost 38. So, Erica, she another exception. Look at this. We got all this exceptional brilliance up in here. Lady V got both. You know, you right on the cusp. Lady V, you say you got both. Fr air fryer. And the toast oven. I love my little oven. I do. I love my oven. Okay, so I'm gonna try to cook all this stuff at the same time to help cut down on um. We got this ground turkey over here. You doing ground beef? Still cook your meat to its pink. We don't do no no pink meat, no uncooked meat over in this parts of the hood. Um, move that out the way. I should cook this for you, I could have. I need one cup of chicken broth. Got my chicken right here. My measuring cup. I believe that's a fourth. I don't remember. I lost my measuring cups. The right ones. That's a third. One, two, three. And I'm sorry if I'm missing your uh, comments. I'm going to try to go back in a minute and look at comments. So you have an air fryer too and an Instapot. What the hell is an Instapot? Yeah. Keisha said she got an Instapot too. What's an Instapot? Sure. Keisha know, uh, Keisha know what it is. I ain't never heard of it. I must be getting, I must be too old. Y'all, y'all look so good at y'all. I ain't never heard of an Instapot, but Keisha's going to pull it up for me. So I can be part of the loop. Oh, that's basically a crock pot. Okay, let's go to get show, Keisha. Cause we got somebody has some more people in the group that don't know what the Insta Party is either. Get a little bit closer. I think the camera needs one. That's the Insta Pot. Okay, basically that's a new, new fame dang of crock pot. That's what that is. Too expensive. Yeah, personal dang I love my crock pots. Or uh, uh, pressure cooker. Okay, a new fame. Ooh, if I had one of those, man, I could do me some oxtails. Ooh, I had no oxtails a long time. Yeah, you know. Some or some snack bones. Mm. Okay, so my meat still paint right now. It's this. I gotta cook it a little bit longer, but I just wanna just give y'all the in-between stages. Um uh, Okay, so since we talking, I made an error in the video earlier this week. I had gave a um gave a rest in peace notice and I said rest in peace to James Brown. And I met Lil Richard. That was a slip of the tongue, a slip of the mind, because I said it more than once. Cause I even quoted the baddest man in town. I met Little Richard. Little Richard is the one who passed, along with Betty Wright and uh, Andre Herrera. So I wanted to make sure I clear that up. And um, but I'm gonna tell y'all, I don't know if it's just me. I don't know Little Richard uh for his singing. I know Good God and Miss Molly. I know that. I don't know of any other music by Little Richard. I know Little Richard. Because of his um, presence. You know, he's famous to me because of his presence. Y'all know Little Rich. If y'all know Little Richard's song, give me a title. Um, I, I did Google some, but I just like, I just want to know if y'all off the top of y'all cuff know some other Little Rich songs other than The Good God of Miss Molly. And is that the same song with Wild Bamboo in it? Good God of Miss Molly. I only know Wild Bamboo. I live at Little Richard in the movies. Mama, you know Little Richard's songs? Tootie Fruity. Tootie Fruity? I was like, Tootie Fruity? Uh, okay, I forgot about Tootie Fruity. Um, so I don't know any other Little Richard songs. I can't think But of he it. is so wildly popular. Tootie Fruity, yeah. My mom said Tootie as well. Uh, Good Daddy, Miss Molly. Can you look at them? I don't even know. No, no. no, we said the song we know. Then we I, knew you, who you meant. Yeah, we want to know songs you know, because like everybody keeps saying it. 
He's he's of course they say he's the the, the king of rock and roll. He's not the king of rock and roll. I say that's Chuck Berry, but he say that he 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 started the he like the yeah, foundation of it. the yeah. foundation of rock and roll. Right, um, which is true. Vito, get away from the camera tripod, please, dog. That's another reason why they want to try by the middle. Um, oh, I put the dog on chicken stock on y'all. I ain't turned it on. Oh, Lord Jesus. What you need chicken stock for? That's this recipe called for chicken stock. Let me say the same thing. I said the same thing when I bought it. What but the hell? Hey, hey, hey. Who's in this recipe? Lady V did. She said she, been, she said she tried it 12 years ago, and she ain't never went back to no other recipe. So we gonna go off of Lady V. I needed somebody to have one that we could, you know, Bounce off of that they had, it was good because I just didn't want to cook no random recipe and then it turned out that nobody liked it anyway. So, yeah, okay. So, the beautiful soul, she loved crock pot too. I'm telling you, I don't know why I don't own a crock pot anymore. Uh, because you did like I did, you gave your shit away. Yep, you gave it away. I don't think I gave it away. Yeah, you did. I gave my crock pot away. You gave everything in your damn kitchen away. I think you gave it to And and what all, oh my gosh, and what all you didn't give away a man, you threw away. Where are yours? Yeah. How she all, my mama always claiming stuff as hers, and we hadn't lived together since 2002. She always I ain't talking about in your house. I'm talking about in the house that I moved out of where you was throwing shit away when I was outside. Like no, I threw away furniture. I, I, know, I know where my crock pot went. Where the crock yeah, pot. I threw away those small appliances. I threw oh. away furniture. I was like, this ain't going on the truck. And it didn't go. That's what threw away my, my mattress pad because it needed washing. My mama tried to bring with <laughs> us, y'all. This broken up. That as soon as we put it on the truck, it fell apart, and then she got mad because I threw it away. It fell apart on the truck, and I kicked it off like it no, ain't going. It, it didn't fall apart on the truck. It fell apart. The dude putting it on the truck, he broke the damn desk. No, it, when he set it down, it fell apart, and so I said, "Slide that bug off of there," and we pushed it off the truck, and like it ain't going. And then he was like, "I don't know what I'm gonna tell her." I said, "Tell her I kicked it off the truck." That's what we did. Yeah. Okay, so um, but yeah, other than that, I didn't I didn't know any other Little Richard songs. I know Little Richard from his history of being around other groups, um, his his dramatics, his overly thin mustache. It, you know, um, wow. yeah, that's the thing. Girl, I that was Richard, Richard Pediman. Richard Pediman was the thing. That's his name. Yeah. You know, I remember him in the story with uh, yeah, with uh, uh Lola uh, uh, and uh, uh, come on. Man. No, oh, they never get to get the song. The one that Lorenz can't play. Yeah, right. Uh, not, no, no. What's, the, what's, 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 what's the boy name that he was with the group? What's the group? I don't remember. Y'all know what's the big movie I'm talking about. Lorenz yeah. Tate was in there. Uh, was, he was very flamboyant. Yes, he, he was. wasn't little Anthony. He didn't play little Anthony. Who was little Anthony? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Lorenz Tate played little Anthony. No, it wasn't. It wasn't little Anthony. He played. It was Little Anthony. It was not. What are we talking Frank Lavin. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Whoever you are. Keisha Charmaine. It's Frank Lavin. Right. right. I got, but the name just wouldn't come out with my vocal. Oh. Hey, Little Yeah, I was like, I just did that. Oh. Yeah. I love that movie. There you go. That was comical. Oh. The Little Red Sign and Vivica Fox. And yeah. That was a good movie. Holly yeah. Berry. And then uh, the guy, the, the, the actor that plays uh, who played Little Richard. I thought he did a very good job on her. Oh yeah, he's very fanboy. And then the rich came out okay. saying he, he wasn't gay, then he was gay, and he wasn't gay. That didn't really matter. He was he was probably one of the men. He was entertaining. He was I thought he was he, so entertaining. Yeah. I didn't care what he was. He was entertaining. <laughs> that movie is excellent, girl. Yes, that is the bomb. I think we should all watch it later on this week. <laughs> 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 that is the bomb. Frankie. Frankie Lyman. Frankie hear that damn dog out the window. Oh my god, he killed that dog. <laughs> Did my uncle sing with Lola? I know that they, my uncle them did it, like a tribute group to them, uh, to the Platters. Um, I thought he sung with them now. He sung with one of the old members, but she wasn't there by the, by the time he started singing with them. When he started singing with them. Leon. Leon was in the movie too? What part did he play? I don't remember Leon being in that movie. No, what Which part did he play? play? He and Leon in. was in the five puppies. Right, he wasn't in that movie. I don't, and Leon was in the Temptations. I, don't I, I can keep up with what Leon being, and he wasn't in that one. I don't remember. I don't remember Leon being in that one. And that's y'all just talking about Leon. And I missed the conversation. That's yeah, possible. maybe, maybe that's okay. So I got the the chicken start cooking. The ground turkey is done. Bam. What shells did you get? Lasagna noodles. They got two different kinds. Thank you. I got the one that's filled with an E. <laughs> no, that ain't what I meant. Uh, 
see. The ones I got was no bake. You didn't have to. You didn't have to cook them first. You just put them in the pan and they. Well, cook. that's what this recipe say. Don't put them in. Don't cook them at all. All right. Okay. I don't know. But my box said that. Okay. Oh, my box is I could have cooked them 24 hours in advance and then freeze them. Oh, so right. I was gonna cook them in a flash freezer, and oh. then I get further in the recipe, it say cook, uh, put uncooked noodles. So I'm right. like, it's something it's gonna cook the, 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 You gotta put it in the oven, right? Yeah, I got so the, the other juice and all that's gonna help you cook. Okay, so, um, damn, what is the name of the movie though? Which movie now? Why do fools fall in love? That's it. That's it. That's, that's, it. that's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, he was Leon in a Little Richard movie. Oh, I didn't ever see the Little Richard movie. Who was Leon? Leon played Little Richard in the Little Richard movie. Oh yeah, he did. And I never saw that movie. I did. Okay, so I got my chicken stock. It's supposed to be heating up. It's in this pot. Y'all can't see it. It's 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 yellow. You gotta mix the cream cheese in there with that. See, this is how we don't never get the cooking done in the right amount of time. We've been on here 45 minutes for a 55 minute dish. I don't ever come in until 45 minutes after you score. Hey, um, so, I couldn't remember nothing else about Little Richard. And then, I told y'all, because Miss, Miss, yeah. Miss the Fabulous, hey, give us a thank you so much. I appreciate the super chat. Thank you, and, um, Listen up. I remember Betty Wright had asked. I told y'all that I love Tonight is the Night. That was my favorite song. I told y'all my mama's favorite song by her was Clean Up Woman, right? No. It wasn't Clean Up Woman? Mm -hmm. That's the only one I remember you used to play mm -hmm. all the time. What was your favorite Betty Wright song? That wasn't it because I wasn't the Clean Up Woman. What was your favorite Betty Wright song? Y'all put it in your comment section if y'all had a Betty Wright song that y'all loved. You, you know my mind is, is clicking slow these days. Y'all know Betty Wright had. Um, I call it a, a song anthology. She started off with this song called Pain. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Big Wright started long before Pain. No, I'm talking about the anthology, the story itself. And Pain was the first one of that anthology. I know but, she had songs that she had songs that was out before I was born. I'm going to tell you what the song is as you ask me the question. But I like the one, the song that I like. Net cream cheese is on the on the pink album. After so to, not uh what is it uh so from what from what I know of because my mom said she can find it wrong. I'm, I'm, no, I ain't trying to prove you wrong. So from I'm what I know of the song, song Pain was the first song. I didn't like Pain. I didn't like that song at all. After the Pain, that, that was, was my shit. One. Okay, that was my shit right there. Yeah, I was talking the about pain. the anthology oh. itself. The anthology started with Pain, just the song Pain. Then oh, after the pain that. came the song that's my mama jam, after the pain. Damn right. You said you had no idea that Betty Wright was such a powerhouse in the industry. Girl, yes. She yes. started singing when her first. T.R. say clean up woman too. No, no, no. Her first song that caught me, she was 14. I didn't know the woman was 14 years old. And the, the song fell in love with I'm going to tell you the name of it in a minute. Oh. Let me see if I can find it. So right. after pain, then there was no pain, no gain. No. It was pain, then after the pain, then no pain, no gain. Then she got back with him and she came out with Pain to Joy. Mm -mm. She was with the same dude because Pain to Joy was the last one. He took a pain to Joy because she talked about it in the song how people said, you know, I, I got back with you, I definitely think I was, and now you bring me so much more joy than you ever brought me pain. So she had a little anthology, but out of that whole little trio, no pain, no gain, and after the pain was the stuff. I mean, y'all don't want me to sing. Mm -mm. Y'all don't want me to sing. Mm -mm. You know, the, 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 the best line off of, the best, uh, after the pain was, don't blame Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie, Mr. Charlie just, a man. just a man. And he he's doing the best he can. He's doing the best he can. <laughs> I heard him say, don't blame Mr. Charlie. That song was toxic as fuck. <laughs> if you really listen to the words, Mr. Charlie wasn't shit. No, he wasn't. He dogged her out. He called her so much pain and she still can't believe. And oh, I still love you like I do. But she couldn't believe why she still loved this man like she did. So she left him. And then she got back with him because some old lady that was sitting on the corner who you know, said oh, she didn't have a lot of days left to live. So she wasn't going to make sure she was going to waste them on her and could tell her something wrong. And she told her to go ahead and forgive Mr. Charlie. So she got Mr. Charlie back. And then, uh, yeah, and then she had some joyful days after that. Okay, so that's cooking. The well, chicken stock and the cream cheese. I hope you're whisking it. We went Hold to, on a second, John. To her concert. Oh. Me and Desilene. Me and uh, Desilene. The girl I used to work with. And we went to her concert. And so Betty said, 
You know she had been missing for some years. I think they can hear you, but they can't see you. Okay. Oh, no, they can't see you. So That's I'm supposed okay. to be whisking this cream cheese with the chicken stock, and I can't whisk too much because I don't want my chicken stock to eat up all over the ground. But I'm going to show y'all this minute. I don't care about spreading up the pot. You do if you don't want your food. Eh, it's already in food, Teflon. I'm cooking all this food anyway. Um, but it's basically turning into like a little milky substance. Let me see. Let me tilt the camera a little bit. I'll show you what I'm working with. Let me see. Okay, so we got uh, Jazz and Nicole. We already know she's getting her serving. Um, You know, since Beautiful Soul, she kicked in on that super chat. I, I'm reserving a serving for you, Beautiful Soul. <laughs> Um, wait, put that back on there so the rest of the cheese come out. Alright, so the cheese sauce, something I'm missing. After I cook the meat, oh I could do the, the turkey stuff now. So I got my meat. It's all browned up. I'm paying mine in a pot. Cause it said to add all these ingredients together in this skillet. And my skillet ain't big enough for all this. Um, but tonight you're is the night. Regina's name was Bessie Regina Norris. Bessie Regina, no, I Best Virginia. And she was only 66. I don't know right. why I thought she was my grandma's age. No, because that's what I'm saying. She, she got a song. Betty Wright was the, she was the, that was my girl. Yeah. But she sung tonight as a night child. I got my whole life with that. I, and I was a virgin when I heard the song, but I still got my entire life with that. She started the song off talking. You know, this song is about my, it will be your very first time. Mm. She tell y'all she want everybody to go back and remember mm. when they first time was. You know, then she paused. For a long time. Some because some of y'all need to go way back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then she thought I was saying, you know, whether well, it was good. And you just smiled and it was good. I was like, that was a song right there. I love me some Betty Wright tonight. And like, so many musicians have sampled the okay. hell out of that song. Um, that, that, that's that's Betty Wright? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my mind. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Yes, that's her. And she was 14 when she sang that. Oh my mind. That's the that's the damn. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I could be a singer. I could have been a singer. I don't know why the buck stopped with me and my mama. The rest of the, everybody else in my family. I was beg your point, it did not stop with your mama. Your mama can still sing. She just don't sound good. <laughs> I'm not gonna even comment. <laughs> Look, see, and I got an excuse. I was a smoker. I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna say personally, I think that I can hold a little tone myself. I can hold. You know what I'm saying, but what I was really trying to say is, is that everybody else in the family sung professionally. Yeah. They made albums. Yes. They sung with groups. Yes. And it then it stopped with my mama. My mama left LA and came back to St. Louis, so she didn't really like really get too much involved into the music scene like the rest of the family. Was. I didn't like the people. You didn't like the people. Mm -mm. So like yeah, my no, uncle, not, not, not the people was in several groups. I didn't like my grandmama was the in a group. family my members. On both. <laughs> my stepfather was my real granddaddy. He was was he a singer too? Yo, dad, my my dad, yeah, yeah he could sing too. So yeah, my our whole family, Kima could sing her ass off. Yo, and I remember when she was like, cousin trail. Walker, she could sing all yeah, of them. They could sing their dreams. They it's had it. I mean, but see, me, 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 me. I had that Don't cigarette. Look, I had that cigarette smoking at six, so it kind of cut off my breath. Let me open up this can of tomatoes. <laughs> you know, so that, it kind of messed up my singing voice. So know. yeah, our whole family of uh, musicians or singers and I, my, the first I got to entertainment was a poet. Yeah, and you was good at it. Yeah, you know, I spoke a word poet. That's the first I got. You were good. Turn it down. So I got my can of crushed tomatoes. Um, Make sure I'm adding this right. Stir in the crushed tomatoes, in with the meat. Let me turn the meat back on. <laughs> How do you keep turning out stuff? I don't mean, want. I don't like to have this stuff cooking at the same time. So the meat is in there. What else going there? Ooh, little girls. What's that? The basil. Um. Do you I'm, remember Joy and Payne by her? Yeah, I remember Joy and Payne. That's what that was part of. It was like a five-song thing. Joy and Payne. Then came. Uh, okay. So it's supposed to be one fourth cup of basil. I told y'all I ain't got no fresh basil, so I'm using. Basil. You know, dry basil, and I'm not finna measure nothing. It's supposed to be one fourth a cup if y'all measuring. I'm just finna shake again. You need to shake a little more. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna shake a lot. Why didn't you just screw the top off and pour it in here? No. Mm -mm. Cause I'd put a whole dog over oh, there. No. So that's the basil. And then what else supposed to go in? Hey, kitty. Oh. 
One fourth cup of basil goes in. Your machine ain't working right now. And then I also supposed to stir in the garlic chives. Again, I didn't buy no fresh chives. We got some some garlic chives right here. And that's supposed to be you know, you sound like you didn't either. I'm finna shake until I get the right amount that I think look good. And this one I might need to open up because I need a little bit more than that. I need some yeah, chives in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. What the heck? All right, so there we go. The chives are shook in there. And then what else are we supposed to add now? Um, back up to this recipe. I keep losing the recipe. What the heck I do with it? I keep hitting the wrong button, y'all. Don't do that. Oh, right. so. Mm -hmm. four, is that right? mm -hmm. So. Stir in the crushed tomatoes, the basil. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. What you just say? Talking about, I heard you talking in the live and laughing at me. Why she laughing? All right, here we go. My water. <laughs> Bam, it's all in the pot. Okay. What else supposed to be doing there? Uh -huh. Stir it in. Okay. Get away from the fucking tripod. Damn dog. Leave. Go. Go ahead. All right. So, there you go. I got everything in the pot, y'all. I just shook it in there. It don't say I'm supposed to keep cooking it though. It just ain't stirred in. Stir it in. I stirred it. Oh, that look good. It's good and grain. Um, add the cream cheese to the. That's my. And we did that part. I, I did it all in once. Okay. So now we got in our pan. We can finally get to the, the prepared pan. So I greased up pan. You know, it's still greased. Okay. It don't look greased anymore, no but it's still greased. Okay. PJ in the building. Somebody said, hey, phone. Hey, PJ, I didn't see you come in here, Hager. Hi. Oh, um, so now we, um, in the prepared pan, spread half of the meat mixture. Okay. Look, look so, I'm supposed to be spreading this meat mixture. I need to get a ladle. So, in order for me to do this right, I'm going to get the ladle. Normally, I would just take the whole pot and I would pour it, y'all. Oh, my mama back there. She's she waving, y'all. She back there hiding behind the cookbooks. Y'all see in the corner. <laughs> So, we can take half this meat mixture and put it in our pan. It smell good already. Oh, you ain't got nothing in that bowl. I don't know why this is, this, one, this, one, this, this don't look right. What? So I use a smaller bowl. It said a nine by 13. A nine by 13 is bigger than that. No, no, this is a nine by 13. But for some reason, this is half the mixture. This is half the mixture right here. And I'm like, that don't look like that's enough. It's enough. Oh, okay. So half the mixture. <laughs> hey, wings and mumbo sauce. Thank you so much <laughs> for my toilet paper girl. Our butts are happy. We appreciate you. And happy belated birthday. We know your birthday was on May 2nd. You probably didn't see the shout out. Happy belated birthday to you. I hope you really enjoyed. And um, I got a gift for you, girl. Hey, who won May first? Um, wings and mumbo sauce. Wings. What's her name? Did you not hear me? Wings and mumbo sauce. That's her name? Yes. Okay, can I ask why she named herself that? Because she like wings and mumbo sauce. What's mumbo sauce? I don't know. <laughs> ask no questions, don't tell no lies. Move! Get out the fucking kitchen. Get out of the dog. Okay, so. I got my meat in her. Vito messing us up. We done spread our meat in the pan, right? The first little layer of meat, half the thing. Then it says, sprinkle one cup of mozzarella cheese over the meat. All right, here we go. Got our mozzarella cheese, our Sargento. Y'all know good and doggone well, I'm not gonna measure this cheese it, as far as one cup is concerned. If I use all this cheese, they'll be just gonna use it. My job is to just cover it. I hope you ain't got to use it nothing. I'm gonna have to run this tape back. Mumbo sauce is that good sauce that goes on wings. That's what she's saying. I don't need no sauce on my wife. I just need the wine. Wings on her, her sauce on her wings. That's I what I'm saying. I heard what she said. That's what. That's her reason. But I don't need sauce on my wine. I just want to know what. It wasn't a reason. That was just what they were. You asked for. Okay. We done sprinkled the cheese. <laughs> Never too much cheese in my book. <laughs> Everybody's saying that. And it must be because I've already used most of the pack. <laughs> and this one pack supposed to be two cups of cheese. But it they wasn't lied. Really to me. Somebody laughed. All right. There were no two bad. No two say bad. wings, not wongs. <laughs> Did I say? Um. All right. So we got that layer on there. Then 
lay half of the uncooked noodles on the piece. We open our oven our lasagna with the E. I know y'all said don't trust lasagna. The lasagna still with A. Did you know the lasagna was still with E? And you were coming up? Yeah, E and E at the end. You know really? That. No. It's not the lasagna. I always been still with A. And this recipe don't know which one it is. It go back and forth. <laughs> uh Paula say, hey mama. So we got all the Zagna noodles. Hi, you can only see my hand. That's the only part of me coming into play. Today. Today. The lasagna noodles. Am I supposed to overlap the noodles? Y'all chefs in the building, mm -hmm. Orga Harris. Oh, yeah. Um Lady B, do y'all overlap y'all noodles? So they could. See, this ain't even covering the whole dog thing. I need to go tip to tip. It's doing what it's supposed to do. No, see, you got too much to go get that, 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 It's doing what it's supposed to do. Hey, they're not going to come. It's always to the field to the end. Well, apparently, you have the wrong pan in. Me neither. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> okay, so I got those over there. Pour the cream cheese mixture over the noodles. Put all of it. So I'm pouring the cream cheese mixture over the noodles right now. All right, so we got our cream cheese mixture. It's good and whisked up. It ain't curled or nothing. I was pour that. So maybe this is what I was thinking was the ricotta cheese and most recipes. Cause I know most recipes. My mama came in here, y'all, with a damn measuring tape to prove whether or not my pan was done by see. 13. I just try to see. <laughs> This yep. is the type of household we live in. Your pan is down by 13. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's not true because the inside ain't nine by 13. Just the top. Just the top. Okay? Because I measured the outside. I didn't measure the inside. So they lied to you. And get out again. Don't come back. Don't bring it but back. Hey, take yeah, there you go. I dropped some stuff, y'all. Drop my damn whisk on the floor. Y'all know we dropped. See where every dog on live stream, it wouldn't be right if we didn't drop something. Um, while we're here, thank you to each and every one of you who are here in the stream. We got 26 people in here. Um, thank you for our thumbs up. We got 16 of those. Uh, our hair say ricotta is way better. It is. That's the only thing I knew. Then when this, this chicken stock and Philadelphia cream cheese is new to me, but I'm gonna have to try this some other time too because it looked good. It looked cheesy. It ain't easy being cheesy. Okay, hold on. All right. I'm back again. Okay, after we pour the cream cheese in the mixture, oh, we sprinkle more cheese. I'm gonna run out of cheese. Uh, I may have some more that time. Later, sprinkle more cheese over the cream cheese mixture. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. This is the Italian cheese we use now because I don't use all the mozzarella. I'm gonna try not to be so heavy handed this time. <laughs> I did better this time. I got better coverage. I see you. Sorry, because I know I need some cheese for the top. I'm like, I'm running out of cheese. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, so I'm, I'm trying to show y'all some stages. Here we go, that's where we're at right now. The cheese and stuff sprinkled on top. That's some stages. Slim Jim Longfoot in the building. I know he mad at me right now. Baby, I was supposed to do something for him like two Sundays ago. And I ain't did a check. <laughs> Something so damn simple that I could have did. But I was going through a depressive mode the time he asked me. I didn't realize I was about to go through it. And then as I came out of it, I told him I was going to send it to him. And I still fucking forgot. Um, where'd you get the recipe? Um, the link itself is in the dog it's in the stream. Um, but it's goodcheapeats.com. I can I can share it again. I can share it again. Cause I still got my I think I still did. Maybe I didn't do it. What the hell? Copy it again. Copy, copy. Control V, bam. Okay, this is the link to where we got the recipe. Lady B is the one who shared it with us. Booyah, baby. We got the recipe. Now, where am I at? I'm back on here. Okay, so now I gotta lay some more for the other uncooked noodles over the cheese. Oh, this part. I'm on this part. Put a cream cheese mixture over the noodles. Sprinkle one cup of mozzarella cheese over the cream cheese mixture. Lay the remaining noodles over the cheese. Okay, one. Some more noodles. Two. Ooh, I mean, that was a new name. I didn't see that name. Who was that? 
Okay, let me see that. All right. Remaining noodles over the cheese mixture. Bam. And this stuff still got to cook, y'all. So while it's cooking, we're just going to be running our mouths. That's all going to happen. Like we normally do. We end up usually end up with a two to three hour stream every time any dog going away. Spray the noodles over the cheese mixture. Okay. Spoon oh, on. More meat. I forgot all about the rest of the damn meat. <laughs> now spoon the rest of the meat on top of the noodles. I got my ladle here. It's gonna be the good. meat sauce. Yeah. Really left out. I was like, this this don't look like it's gonna be thick enough. <laughs> but now I know why, because I hadn't put the rest of the meat on her. Exactly. All right, this been, this about to be good. This this better be good. Oh, I'm gonna be a lady house. Uh oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. What state she living in? I forgot. No, I mean, she ain't got to worry about seeing you then. All right. Okay. And I done messed up because I was too heavy handed and put too much of the meat sauce in one yeah. corner. So now I gotta spread it around evenly so it can be all over the meat like it's supposed to be. And if Jacob asked me to do this doggone lasagna and he ain't came in the stream yet. We're gonna have to talk about him if he shows up this evening. Okay, it's up. It's, it's ooh, ooh. Maybe I put too much more meat at the bottom. It's, it's, it's all good. It's all good? It's, okay. It's all good. Okay, we got that in the Excuse me here. All right, what's next, y'all? After I lay the remaining noodles over the cheese, mm -hmm. spread the remaining meat sauce, mm -hmm. and sprinkle the remaining cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang. I didn't realize I wasn't supposed to use all those chives at that time. It said you, I should have only used, actually I didn't mention the chives anyway, so it don't matter. Cause it said only use like one tablespoon of the chives earlier. And I just shook it until I thought it was pretty in color. And then it said I'm supposed to put some more chives on top at the end. Not gonna have no chives. That's a, I don't got no chives, it's dry. All right, so we're gonna sprinkle the remaining cheese on top. What time is it, 7.30? Seven. Oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. We're doing pretty good. Uh, nah. <laughs> I know that's why I didn't want to start at seven because I was like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be horrible if I start at seven. It'd be ten o'clock at night. We'd be eating lasagna. So I hurt myself. I, I told y'all I hurt myself last week at work. Um. Now I'm gonna tell y'all I kind of over exaggerated my pain when I explained it to my boss. So he gave me you know, a couple of days off in a row to get better. And with my exaggerated lie, I woke up mm -hmm. the next morning, mm -hmm. my back was thrown out for re. Didn't I tell you? I couldn't stand up. You can't tell them kind of lies. You got to tell okay, them. Okay, we use all four cups of cheese, y'all. You, 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 you got to blame them kind of lies on somebody else. And, and I, and my injury was true. As much pain mm -hmm. as I told him mm -hmm. until I threw my damn back out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my mama gave me some icy hot <laughs> to put on my back. Oh my. We put it on her, like in the little section there. And when I first put it on, the little, felt the little icy part that was going on. And that was it. I was thinking, well, maybe her product will be old or maybe icy hot don't work the way it used to because I only got the icy part. I went to work the next day. I was still barely moving a little bit, but I went to work. Baby, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, that hot kicked in on my My whole backside was flaming hot. I was sweating. I thought I was going through the change. I didn't know what was going on when I realized it was all in that one spot. I was like, the damn, the icy hot kicked in a whole day later. <laughs> oh, child, I was sweating my butt off. And okay, so I came home and I told her about it. And I was like, I don't know what it was because it started working because I started walking a little bit upright again. So I put some more on her, got the coolness again. That was yesterday. <laughs> Made it through the whole work day again yesterday. Two o'clock this afternoon, my damn back was on fire again. Like, what? I didn't know there was a delayed reaction to Icy Hot. It just, okay. After I got all this, baked the lasagna for 40 minutes and set the timer for 10 minutes for serving. So, here's our lasagna with the an E and A. We're going to put it in the oven. Let me move the, the tripod so I can open my oven door. It's already been preheating. Uncovered. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't put the rest of the chives on top. No, I got a whole bunch of chives. I gotta sprinkle some more chives on top. Y'all see all the dishes piled up in the sink now. <laughs> sprinkle me, baby. Go ahead, baby. All right. I'm, I, I get a little heavy-handed, but I got some more chives on top. Put that in the oven. Center rack in the middle, uncovered, 40 minutes. That's what they say you're gonna do. What? 
We got our time to go with. 40 minutes, y'all. 40 minutes. Okay. So now we're just waiting on the food to cook. So we're just gonna sit here and just talk. How y'all doing? Um, but a day delay between the ice a day delay. I mean my whole back. Was it expired or was it new? Don't ask me. I don't know when I bought it. <laughs> it may have been expired. She don't know about it. <laughs> It okay. just, I know I got that icy feeling. I was like, oh, that's nice and cold. But a whole day later, I mean, I was you want me to go just that, yeah, come get it from <laughs> that one spot, y'all. <laughs> Gerald's game. Okay, hold up. Get it out. She laughs so hard. Dog. This expired March a two. <laughs> now, I will say it worked. It worked out. <laughs> March of 2006. Here you go, Ma. We, we black folks know we hold on to some medicine. We say, you know, Keisha May say she know it. <laughs> we will hold on to some not large quantities. Medicine costs a lot of goddamn money. Yeah. So when you use once, we keep it. We may not need it. Hey, he yeah, has expired. We, yeah, we, we still ain't gonna go to the white. Okay, reaction. Okay, so I lost everybody in the stream, though. You did? Mm hmm. Come on back. I think we're back again. I'm not sure. Where are the people? So they got there. Oh. But yeah, you see. I mean, and I thought I switched off the Wi-Fi in the house because I was already losing. Yeah, people just dropping off like flies. Now we're down to 14. We had 26 people. So like I said, if, if this don't ever come back on, I will just post another video all together showing the total thing. Okay. Go on up there. But yeah, it's a... Uh, like the chat, I can still see the chat on my thing, but it's really bad. You lose, you lost people on there too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if we, I don't like to buy medicine either because they expire and we don't use them all. It's just a waste of money. So we keep them. So we had all these expired. I got, I probably got muscle relaxers in there from 2012. Because like the doctor, I have, I, I have, I get migraines. So my doctor prescribed me muscle relaxers for my migraines, but I don't like to take medicine. So I got like a whole container. Of muscle relaxers that I've never used. So yeah, we kind of back. But I was talking about Dorlinda Tracy. I don't know if she's still in here right now. But this is the kind of friend she is. She she recommended that Gerald's game movie to me. <laughs> <laughs> but in all fairness, she hadn't watched it yet when she recommended it to me. Wow. That was the craziest. But you know, the whole movie, I don't know if y'all gonna watch it. I don't want to want to spoil it. But the whole movie. For the most part, takes place, and the cast is a probably two people. The main daddy come in, look like we get the crazy creepy man in the corner, and then they go to court and stuff. It was like I wanted to see how the heck she was gonna get out of this situation she was in, and the, all the mess of the storylines. Lord, the man was her daddy, her brother, her sister, her love. She was everything was going on in it. That was a disturbing movie. I was like, who wrote this shit? Stingy. Um. Gerald's Game, Keisha Charmaine, it's on on Netflix. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't say don't watch it, but when you watch it, don't be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, I started watching It's such a disturbing finish. No. First one, I can't even tell you the end you, of you, it. You said you watched the first episode? Anyway, I can't really tell you. It just, it ain't, no. It, it, it's. You know the last movie that he made. I told you my mama used to like everything else. She yeah. said that she having trouble saying no. Nah, she can get to the it TV ain't show. good. Just put it like Bro, that. Bro, not good. Bro, it ain't good. Mm -mm, no, no. That no. is horrible. I'm really lagging. I'm all pixelated like, on my laptop. Oh Lord Jesus! You can see I ain't got no pictures. The killing of the sacred deer. Who saw uh, becoming? Have you seen that yet? Becoming? No, I haven't heard it. Yeah, that's uh, uh, uh Michelle Obama. Oh no, I don't like documentaries. I'm not a big documentary. You can't read your own biographies. That was your thing. You used to love like I true story it. books. And I still like, like, I love watch the lasagna. Mine is getting too dark on the top. What? What? So you got yours in the toast oven. I got mine in the big oven. I got mine in the big oven. And she got some bra on in hers. She got hers in the toast oven. 
Ooh, it's pretty. It's do, a pretty brand. Do she have the No, she got something in this. <laughs> Faster. This has a lot more space, so it's a lot more circulating. He's circulating around it. Sacred Deer has Colin Farrell in it and Nicole Kidman. I haven't seen Sacred Deer. Oh, um, but there's a new movie coming out with Ice Cube and Tracy Ellis Ross. Yep. It's on my um community tab. Tracy Ellis Ross is a, 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 a age singer. She's over 40 singer. And she's trying to like still be more present. People saying it's based off of Dr. Ross. I like it. Um, and people's like, I never thought Tracy Ellis Ross could sing. I've never heard her sing. I did. Um, the part that I heard in the trailer, it didn't sound all that to me. But the, the movie's still interesting enough for me to watch, especially it got Ice Cube in it. There you go. And, and he's a horrible actor, too. <laughs> but he, I ain't gonna say Ice Cube horrible. He's not the best actor, but I still love Cube, so I'm gonna watch it just because Cube is in it. But he's like her manager. Um, have y'all seen The Perfectionist? Why does that sound familiar? It sounds familiar to me, too. Is that the one with the cello players? The perfectionist? I remember her singing on Girlfriends. She wasn't good, but not terrible. Look, that's, yeah, exactly. She wasn't all that good, like, to be, like, she's supposed to be a famed superstar in this movie, but she wasn't bad. I love me some Ice Cube. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> love me some Ice Cube. So, yeah, he's supposed to be in this movie. He's her manager, her producer, manager, whatever. He, he was a um, producer, the manager, and the Oh, yeah. Perfectionist. What is the perfectionist? That's the one with the cello people? Uh-huh. Um, I couldn't sleep. It disturbed me for days. What, what's, what Where the violinist it? chops her hand off. Good gosh. What the fuck? They, what are they looking at? That's all I can see. The violinist is Izzy on Luke Fires Everywhere. She was getting it. I, a violinist chop her hand off. No, I don't want to um, see perfection. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I also share a trailer. I know they don't like to watch TV show trailers. I kind of try to steer away from movie trailers too for the most part. But I will watch them. And I shared a link for some trailers for some movies that's supposed to come out in 2021 and 20 in this year. The first one was this movie called Unhinged. And when I saw it, I don't know why it, it made me laugh a little bit. Okay, so this dude, I, he was having a bad day apparently. The trailer shows all this, so I'm not, not going to spoil it too much. He's having a bad day. It was at this corner, this red light. And uh, when the light changed, he didn't move. Lady behind him leaning on the horn. Y'all know how I do when I'm on my road rage on the way to work. She leaning on the horn. He won't move. So she goes around him real aggressively, like, fucking move, you know, cuss him out, swerve around him. I don't know why would people do that. They get, they get real aggressive to show people that they mad when they call. And it goes around them, right? So they get in the traffic. He pulls up, you know, I just had a bad day, you know. You could say you sorry, I accept your apology. Because she was like, I ain't, I ain't apologize for nothing, you know. She, they kind of have words back and forth. The little boy in the back seat, like, mama, just drive off. Just don't say nothing, just flip the window. Well, she basically told the man, fuck him. Pretty much is what she told him. Baby, it clicked on that man's road rage. He followed her. Every destination, he to the gas and followed her all over this movie. He is terrorizing the hell out of this movie. And he and it's called he and Mary J. Blige. She's a cop. I forgot the name of it already, but it's on my community tab, so I put them up. Oh, do I got all the movies in there? Mary J. Blast is a cop. She's playing a serious role. And it's actually, I don't think she's doing a bad job. I and I am not a fan of Mary J. Blast's acting work. All I'm saying. But she didn't seem like she was doing a bad job. I was mm -hmm. like, I might have to see that too. Mm -hmm. But it, it, I don't know if it made me think of that because it, every trailer in that thing had some like crazy moments. Crazy, some crazy action going on, and Gerald's game just fit right along with this. <laughs> say you love, uh, say come on, Mary. <laughs> you love Mary J. Blige. Okay, I am not a Mary J. Blige fan per se. I'm a fan as long as it stay on the CD. There you the go. Radio. As long as you, you stay on the CD, as radio. A person, and you won't slap the shit out of me. I do. She's horrible. Okay. See, it's not just me. It's no. not just me. And me and my mama don't usually agree on much. No. <laughs> do we agree on that? I do not like the way Mary J. Blige sing live. She can't dance. That's, that's, that's. She can't inter dance. That's the entertaining part of it. She, she, she can't dance. To. No, that she should stop. Okay. She tried to. That's not dancing. Okay. I can move better than that. Not, mm, she, not going. She entertains. Well, that's not entertainment. She has great songs. Love her songs. Love her songs. Love all her songs. 
But can't say she love how she dance. <laughs> probably, she probably love how she sing. Don't get, uh, married. Don't get on Mary. <laughs> yeah, so, hey, that's fair. Ain't no singer acting better than Miss Jill Scott. Ain't no singer acting better than Miss Jill Scott. What? Are you saying that there's no singer out there? The who acts better than Jill Scott? That, that's, your, that's your theory? That's what you're saying? For real? Huh. You, you, you think that? I don't know if that's what you're saying, but we don't see. But, but, Mary, like I said, I love, I love every album she has. Yes, I love all the songs. Um, I just don't like her live. But live? No, she horrible. Every concert that I have been to, that she used to always live, say, oh, something wrong with my throat. Everyone. Bitch, ain't nothing wrong with your she, throat. You can't sing. <laughs> every concert, she would start off. I sorry I got a bad throat right now. I gotta go <laughs> deal with a sore throat. Yeah, I got a throat. She got mine. Jill is really good and gotta think about that. Um, I love Jill's music. I love Jill singing as far as acting. Mm-mm. Jill is mediocre for me too as far as acting. Mm-mm. I wouldn't turn her off. No, I watch her. But yeah, but I but as far as like she should stick to singing. But I'm trying to think of like she said, she said it compares to she said singing the best singer acting right now. What other singer we know is acting that we can compare to to say that she wrong? I don't know. Probably didn't sing them, but I don't know who she's talking about. And I'm going to go with, with women singers because, I don't know, I, I love Tyrese as an actor. They say Keisha Cole can't sing either. Oh, Beyonce is horrible as an actress. Horrible as an actress. She sucks. Her best role was in Cadillac, though. Um, yeah. Cadillac Records. Yeah. I know, she yeah, was well. okay in that. But she was all right in Dreamgirls. Okay, I'm going to give it that. The singer, no, the singer was good in Dreamgirls. Her acting was bad to me in Dreamgirls. <laughs> but, no, other than that, other than that Kelly Rowland. I don't remember Kelly Rowland acting in anything. I got a few things that Kelly is Did she act in? I got a whole movie that she acted in. I don't remember what she acted in. Brandy? I like, I love Brandy acting. Yeah, I do. I do her. I'm going to give it to yeah, Brandy. I do Brandy. and singing. Um, I like her singing. And yeah, she can do it more. What's the movie that Kelly Rowland was in? Uh, the Sea Pillar, but you probably don't know nothing about that. And let's say that she doesn't need to act. She can stick to singing and dancing. Are we talking about Beyonce? But Beyonce wants to act. But I just like in, in Dream Girls, the role that she played as Dina, the way they describe Dina as being like a, a, a shallow singer, that's how I felt a about her singer. acting. But I, I did enjoy her in Cadillac Records. I can't take that from her. Um, the one movie where she was on the elevator. Who? Was that Temptation? Who? With Beyonce. What movie was she on? The damn elevator. What was the movie Beyonce was on? The now elevator? I tell you what movie I do like her in. Uh, Attempting Temptation. In Temptation, oh, where she was, was she the, the guy. Yeah. Now I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't like that movie at all. Oh. Um. What was the other Beyonce movies? It was something about Temptation. That was it. No, that wasn't it. You talking about the fighting Temptations? Yeah. But I may, I maybe have the title wrong. Obsessed. Oh okay. Oh. You really wrong. <laughs> I hated Obsessed. I walked out the effing theater on Obsessed. One of my damn money back. And I didn't even try to watch We got 23 minutes left on the clock, y'all. Uh, J-Lo. I wouldn't call J-Lo a singer. <laughs> I love J-Lo as an entertainer. She puts on a damn good show. Even the Super Bowl halftime show, I thought her and Shakira did a damn good job. And but as far as just like holding her tone, no, I watched it on YouTube. I didn't watch it on real time. <laughs> but as far as like just actually just like oh, belting up, I don't mm-hmm. consider J Lo a singer with a singer with an A. He <laughs> was just singer. Um, so good. but I know. Look at your. <laughs> yeah, I can look at it in the dark. Yeah, look at it. Woo, Ooh, but, but baby, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. Let me see if I can get this good angle in there. Ooh, can y'all see it? Can y'all see it in there? It look good. It look good. Okay. It's, we doing some stuff. <laughs> um, Jennifer Hudson. For what stream? Oh my God. Jennifer Hudson, I think that she's... I, the roles I've seen her in, I'm a, I, I love the way she act. When she played Winnie Mandela, if y'all have not seen Winnie, and she played Winnie we Mandela. Can, we talking about singers. About Mary J. Blige. Singers that can act. Or can sing. Can or, not or, act. or can't sing. You know what I'm saying? Mary J. Blige. Mm. <laughs> okay. But yeah, uh, Jennifer Hudson really, played Winnie yeah. Mandela. She yeah. killed Jennifer that role. Hudson. So J. Hud, yeah. I love J. Hud and, um, That's a good one. and Dream Girls. I loved her right there. I mm. loved her. Jennifer Hudson. She's singing like a yeah. Jennifer yeah. Hudson's in it? 
Yeah, she was the I thought so. Yeah, she was the one that that brought the little girl out the house. I thought it was Alicia Keys. No, she, Alicia Keys was in there too, but Alicia Keys I was. Jen was in it. Jen was in it. I Jen is the one that helped her. Escape. Oh yeah, look this up. Oh, she yeah. helped her escape from. Remember when her daddy used she to? Michael Beast, right? Right. Yeah. She in there? That she movie. was in there. She in there because she got beat up. That movie was. She got beat yes. up by the town people. I ain't never yes. been so mad about a movie in my life. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's gonna be that's right. Cute I'm Jake, Jennifer Hudson. I'm gonna get it to her. I'm gonna get it to her. Um, but yes, not too many roles that I like Mary Jane. But Mary Jane, if y'all don't know, y'all still gonna watch Power. Mary J. Blige will have a reoccurring role on Power. Doing what? Quilty. Yeah. I don't know. Um, because it's I think it's the Power version that I'm not gonna watch. I'm not it's doing. probably I'm not gonna watch Man. She's on it. Method Man. No, he's on it. No. They, I, I'm done with power. I'm through. They coming out of with, I don't give a damn. When they did what they did with that little badass boy that's only 14 fucking years old, I was through with then. He okay. was going to college by the time it ended. Oh, shit. I don't give a fuck. I was there a few weeks, okay? They going to act like some years have passed. Y'all need to quit playing. Oh, pay attention. Pay attention. He ain't going to boy out of debt to his little ass. He'd have been dead and been buried. This is okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. We still is. haven't really talked about power. Got our feelings out of my power. I wanted my mama to review power with me when it was on. <laughs> Long we got. No, you didn't. 20 minutes. You got 20 minutes. Not, not even 20. 19 and 50. So 18. What time your stream start? I was just going to stream after I eat. Oh, okay. Cool. And I'm, I'm oh, I'm in something. I'm in the house with all these streamers and I don't know how. I'm hungry, though. <laughs> Say, Portia, you paid for Obsess. I, we paid for, we walked out the theater and we got our money back. Obsessed was horrible. Um, the previous yeah. enticement that I always fell asleep in the theaters. Say Mary J. Blige was good in Mudbound. Mudbound was actually, actually she y'all was. told me to watch, and I could not get through the first five minutes. Well, actually, she was. Now that's the one time I have to give her a little credit. I could not get through Mudbound. I couldn't get past the first five minutes. I tried five times. <laughs> I Dang. fell asleep <laughs> five times on Mudbound. Same way I felt. Oh, y'all gonna be mad at me. Uh -oh. Same way I felt about Whitney Houston and the Bodyguard. I hated that movie. Oh, I could not get through the whole dog on movie. Say, start so um. They say I don't want to get back into power, but I love me some Mary J. Blige. It's okay, like okay, Mary J. Blige. Okay, I think Power Book Two is where Method Man and Mary J. Blige are supposed to be on Book Two. But then there's supposed to be another Power that's supposed to be just about Canaan, and I know they're not in that version. And it's supposed to be one about the boy. I don't know. I didn't just, I just only one I was really uh, thought about, which was gonna be the one with Kaden in it, and I might watch that one. The little girl who plays Zora on Green Leaf, she ain't a little girl. She's a grown woman, I don't know but she's mean. supposed to be on there. Supposed to be Kaden's, uh love interest. What? Yeah, it ain't gonna be his mama. The the one he had, the Sean boy. Wow. That's the one who's supposed to be in someone love her. She ain't. That ain't who it is. It's supposed to be her. Um. Mm. You can't get to the bodyguard either. Okay, so it's not just me. I could not do the bodyguard. It's just. I tried to watch it on the plane, and it was free. I turned it off. <laughs> I turned it off. Say, like, Mary J. Blige is starring in a horror movie. What more horror? Now, is that the name of it, Body Cam? I didn't. I didn't. wasn't sure if it was a horror movie. I called it an action thriller. Yeah, that's what it is. That's the movie I'm talking about. Cause it, she's a cop in the movie. I know what the name of it was? It's called Body Cam. Okay. And when's um, it supposed to come you, out? What cookbooks do you have behind you? Okay. What's that? Um. This is the ultimate cooking chick. I don't want to put. Let me start this way. They gonna fall. Maybe, maybe not. Damn. This is pet, uh, potatoes and vegetables. Um, I guess I'm not gonna take them all down. Pasta sauces. Camera up close. Oh, I guess I could. Yeah. Bring the camera. Y'all see all my dirty sink. Well, they, well you okay. gotta wash the dishes after you do. Pasta sauces. Then beans and rice. Stir fry. Another potatoes. This is just how to make different chickens. Ground beef cookbook. The ground beef cookbook is probably my favorite one. Um, comfort food, a diet cookbook, supposed to be for diabetics. Mm. Um, 100 best chicken recipes. I've never cooked anything out of that. This is another cookbook. I did. Chicken, you did? Okay. Yeah. Um, this is. There you go. There you go. Summer appetizers. Taste at home. Um, the Mediterranean cookbook. So a lot of Greek dishes. Uh, Trinidad recipe cookbook. So, you know, I love West Indian food, but I, I specifically love Trinidadian food over anybody else. And it's a vegetarian cookbook because I had a lot of friends that was vegetarians. What and was I wanted to be able to. Supper? That book. 
No, it wasn't. Uh -huh. Something else was there. That was it. No. Yeah, that was it. Okay. So those are cookbooks, but my ground beef cookbook is the one I like the best. I've, I've made a lot of different too. um recipes. Do a lot of cookouts. Um, I used to have a lot of guests at the house when I like people at the house, and so I used to try to um. Oh, you got these. We don't have to talk, Keisha. So, man, I need to know how to make some stuff from some. I used to have a guy and his boyfriend. We was there for four years, and his mama was supposed to be teaching me how to cook some stuff, but I didn't get everything like her, her, her stew and her, uh, her curry goat. Oh, she used to bomb. Oh, these. Mm. And then she used to make something called a cook up. I don't know what the cook up was, but it was good. And then she did some cassava potato. Yeah. Here's one more. Yeah, I love Trini food. Oh, and then my mama got uh, Sylvia soul food. Um, but yeah, I would say the ground beef recipe. I cooked the most recipes so out of that one. So um, or my Trinidad one. I, I cooked a lot of recipes out of that one. But for the most part, y'all, I don't even use my recipe books. I make, make up shit off the top of my head. The recipe um, so that's why when y'all tell me to cook stuff, I'll be like, y'all got to send me a recipe. Because... I be making shit up off the top of my head. This curry goat is far. Oh my good. Woo. Say hush puppy. Sylvia. No, soul food. Sylvia, Sylvia soul food. She probably got some in New York. On her. The restaurant, uh, Sylvia soul food. Thing. Oh, she said Sylvia soul food She's in New York. From New York. She's a, uh, she died. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, she's been dead a couple of years, a few years now. I didn't let you out. Say hush puppy. You're the dumbest things on earth. Who? You try to eat the open food, not to get jiggy weed. The only eating open food that I tried that I liked is like greens. It was some other names and stuff that I used to, uh, I had a lot of Ethiopian friends back in St. Louis. Oh, you remember? Can you say she remember that spot? I thought she up in New York too. Yeah, it's in, it's in Harlem, man. Um, my oh. mama asked, was it in Harlem? Was the location of the restaurant in Harlem? Um, say hush puppies are the bomb. That ground beef cookbook has so many various variations of hush puppies. I got some hush puppies stuff. We do some hush puppies with some corn in it. I tried hush puppies with jalapenos in them. I tried hush puppies with chili in it. The food of Sylvia's hasn't been good in a long time. Yes, yeah, no, because home. she's been gone. Oh, long. Yeah. She's been gone a while. It's probably like the food of Sweetie Pies. Like Sweetie Pies is in St. Louis. Sweetie Pies is good for one. Sweetie Pies is over freaking rated. Most people in St. Louis is not going to tell you to go to Sweetie Pies. Sure ain't. They're going to take um, your ass. I don't even know why. Uh, Oprah found it so fascinating because that's how she got on the show started. I know. Because of Oprah. And then, then Obama went. When there. you go to uh, Sweetie Pies, I'm going to tell you everything that you get is going to be the same color. Yep. If you order greens, you order macaroni, you order candy yams, you order chicken, everything on your plate is going to look the exact same color when it comes out to you and it's going to lack so much flavor. Yep. I don't understand how they. Nah, Sweetie Pies. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Delmonico's in St. Louis was way better than Sweetie Pie. Yeah, Delmonico's was But then they went to, when Miss Miss Bobo died, though, they went to hell in hand back. Yeah, when the original owner, same thing with... And that's that's yeah. what London and Sons, all the restaurants that were started by the original people, sorry, shy, including mothers, when your mama and your auntie was alive, it was much better. Yeah, when we, like, our, our, our cousins, they own Mother's Fish back in St. Louis. And the original mothers was like his mama and her sisters and stuff like that. It was the bomb dot com, and uh, it has changed over the years. Now I still eat mothers if I, I go back home. I still, still eat you know, still some of the best fish in St. Louis. Right, but it ain't like the original. No, it ain't like the two um, sisters when they was in there. Yeah, so, they had it going on. Yeah, so yeah, with London the sons once the daddy died, yeah, it all yeah, kind of when went the sons that got it, it, went to hell in the handbasket. Okay, um, yeah, rapidly. Okay. Say so, wait, how are greens and macaroni the same color? Everything looked brown. Everything looks brown. It's like uh, we got 11 minutes and 54 seconds on this lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> they still trying to verify that. Oh, it is good. No. Yeah, look at it. Your cheese. Yeah, I don't want my cheese to burn. It ain't going to burn. You sure? Mm -hmm. I got 10 more minutes. Okay. I'm going to keep an eye on it because my, my cheese got a little extra brown. Close the door. You sure? You what ain't is? supposed to cook with the oven door. Now, I don't want my food. I don't want my lasagna to you burn. You want it done, though, don't you? It is easy. You can turn the oven off and let it let the heat from the oven cook it that's, for, those, cause that's, yeah, that's for the last few minutes. Or maybe I need to put it down on another shelf or something. No, just turn the oven off. The oven is hot enough where it'll continue cooking for the last 10 minutes. 
We turn the oven off to let it cook itself for the next 10 minutes. Yeah. My cheese is extra brown. Lady V was already like her cheese was too brown. We don't want to burn this because it look good. It smell good. Um, or her say, listen to mama. You, she she never does. So, okay, we know that. See, I turned it off. This time. So, okay. okay. But I still turn it off. Yeah, if everything is brown. get out the cake? Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking that they cook everything in the same grease. Whatever grease they cook the chicken in, they use that same grease and put it into the greens. Oh, Lord, Jesus. I, Jesus. I don't know how the macaroni, the macaroni was brown. Well, I'm going to tell the you, brown. both times I went, it was free for me, and I didn't like the food. Okay. Most oh, people no. like free food. Mm -hmm. Then you get the cobbler, that just... But that was like, like reds. Reds water. Okay. Reds is nasty. Reds had so much dog on sauce. He like he's like open up the bottle of well, at least you didn't sauce get it when it was, and just poured it on top of it. At least you didn't get it when it was burnt. We no. didn't burn me. I didn't never get burnt. I just got over sauce. We got, like we had took my house. I, I, I got barbecue with my sauce. That's basically what it was. The, the you know the little center I used to go to. We went out yeah. there. There was another time it was free for me. And then I had to get Why the pulled brisket. Got to be nasty ribs. Some pool. I had to get the pulled brisket because he didn't do right because he didn't do beef ribs. And right. yeah, it was just too salt. Like why my bread is just soggy. This yeah. is barbecue sauce bread. I couldn't do it. So yeah, um, I don't know. Like if I if y'all was to go to St. Louis and y'all needed a local <laughs> St. Louis spot to dine at, what would I recommend to y'all? Look at that, you even black. It's, it's, I'm going to Mexico <laughs> in your city, me and Ranchito. <laughs> That's where I'm no, going. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about like a, I'm I know what you're talking about. But no, I don't need like a mom and pop shop if I was going to recommend it like a good mom and pop shop. Ain't no, the one in Ferguson is gone. Moms. The one in Ferguson was a bomb. But I'm telling you, this name is moms. moms. Yeah. I don't know about moms either. I used to eat that too. Depending on which one you went to. Yeah. Because the one on Goodfellas was the one I used to go to and they used to do the sound yeah. croquettes in the morning. Oh my goodness, they had some sound yeah. croquettes that was so good. It was like, they were That's the that one. Because, okay, now, the one on uh, yes. The oh, one, good. the one that they opened up on Delmore was okay. That's the old Delmonico's. Right, she took over Delmonico's, but they don't cook the same way on sure. Delmore that they cook on Goodfellow. So yeah, I was sending y'all to the one on Goodfellow, but be prepared to go to the one. Vito, get the f away from my camera. Get out, get back in the cage. Damn it, if you get out this time, um, you behind. So yeah, if I was, if you go St. Louis, you would go to Mom's, go get some food. Okay. I would not recommend and dining in because you're going to be harassed by the staff. There's literally no good soul food spot out here in L.A. You got to eat at your granny's house. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> That's what I was about to say, too, about St. Louis now. Um, I was still seeing y'all the Mother's I'm Fish. I'm still trying, fish. To, trying to think. Because Mother's Fish still got the best buffalo. Yeah. Well, but, okay. And they now, said they got the best buffalo. Well, hold on. Now, see, you just said a fish that a whole lot of people don't know nothing about. Buffalo fish? A lot of people yeah. don't eat that? Don't know nothing about it. Never heard of it. Y'all let me know if y'all heard of buffalo fish. Because I know that here in Florida, that's they a lot of fish that they don't. You, you, they ain't no buffalo down here in Florida. That's all all those soulful places in Baltimore are Chinese owned. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe my mama spit her water out. But we, wait a minute, hold up. We got a, a Chinese food place in St. Louis. Yeah, they cook good soul food. The one on King's Highway? No, this one used to be on Martin Luther King and Goodham. But it ain't there no more. That's right, because they found a rat in the. It, they had, they was, had a rat infestation. Okay, well, y'all well, remember that one? Well, whatever yeah. rats they was cooking. Which one was you talking about? I said on Martin Luther King and Goodfellas. Not yeah, the one on King Goodfellas. No, because it was another one that they busted down on Martin Luther King in uh, Arlington. That one. Really? Yeah. Oh, they that. found straight up animals hanging up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now, they never heard of buffalo fish either. It's, it, it's a really bony fish. So you got to be real careful when you eat it. But if you get the rib side, or the you collar. got a, or the collar, you got some big bones in it. Big so. Bones. But um, you still got to be careful. Make sure you got really your, your bread or some vinegar. In case that bone get caught in your throat. See, that bread will push it on down, but that vinegar Five will minutes, dissolve that bone. That's so, a hint for people who eat fish and get the bone Now, as throat. far as Florida is concerned, let's see, Christine Lawrence, she's not in the, in the chat today. She's the only person I know that's in, on my channel that is in Orlando. I could not recommend y'all a local spot here that's good. I haven't found a local... Mexican spot, a local Cuban spot, a local Peruvian spot. The one we went to in down in uh, it was in Pan Oh, it was a soul food spot. It's Eddie's. It's Eddie's. It's Eddie's. Yes. Eddie's. Eddie's. I forgot about him. I oh, he was good. I ain't forgot about him, but it's 
No. She'd be like, cuz, but I love mine. My yams was fire. Oh my god, about Eddie's. I ain't put that. That's good. Yeah, he right next door to the popcorn factory. It's only that I remember he's located it. Um, wait a minute. I just got a super chat. Oh shit. What? Hey Ty! What's, what's up? What's the super chat? We started cooking early. Then Ty, I'm gonna have to make you a whole damn plate. Shit, she just gave me an eighty dollar super chat. Okay. The shout out to Ty. This this is sponsored again by Beautiful Soul and Ty. <laughs> oh, can't see what I said. I said what I said. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much. I appreciate. it. We got four, three minutes left on the doggone uh, thing for pull out the lasagna. And uh, wow, she came. came Are you came sure? Through. It was at seven fifty six. Uh, turn it off. Oh, that's right. They took the time off. Yeah. Um. Damn. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> mm. So again, yeah, Eddie, sir. Y'all got a good soul food joint where y'all live at? We already know Jazz and Nicole ain't got nothing but Chinese food soul food places. <laughs> but no, the Chinese food place that was right on King's Highway Academy. Uh-huh. They they had some fire. That man, they fish. They born in Chinese. They ain't Chinese, y'all. They be the, <laughs> most of them be in the Yeah, most of them be in the Mies. They, that's, yeah, they, oh, they, Cause they all look the same to us, so they figured they can just tell us anything. And it's worked. Okay. <laughs> Which is very insulting to her. <laughs> So like if you go to if you go to St. Louis and they tell you to get some and the best place in carrots and our rice, we lost signal again. Maybe you're about to come back. It's lost connection again. All right, we lost connection again for a few seconds. Um, I got two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Out. I hope every time. There you go. Yeah. Oh, that's all I put. That's the one I always on my goods. <laughs> why I don't use it often. Ooh, wee. Now remember you had problems with the pan. With the you ain't have to go to the bottom. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Bubbling brown sugar. Look at that, y'all. We about to eat good up at this point. Bubbling okay, you about to dip it out the on the bowl. Oh, Child, you should tilt himself. <laughs> it's like you supposed to let it sit 10 minutes before yeah, we eat. Put it on 10 and when it's say 15, so, that's it. So my mom don't want me to let it tilt. The E. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gonna eat good tonight. Oh, I gotta make my ghetto style. Uh, garlic bread. I need a bowl. What's the hell? I ain't even gonna ask. <laughs> How you doing that? I use it as a regular old bowl. I left that salted butter out. Did I put everything away? Probably not. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I don't measure stuff. I told y'all this. Yeah. I'm going to use the heat or go on the again. There's a heat right there. Y'all know we got some funky breath up in here. Oh, we will have. I know. I'm going to make that two heaps. <laughs> oh. I, I did two heaps for you. Don't get um, I need the sugar. Oh, everything's falling. I told you because there was something else in, in that spot. I got my half a teaspoon thing here for the sugar. I um, want one full teaspoon. Right there. And yeah. Can you give me the um the butter or something out of the refrigerator for me, please? Probably. Mm -hmm. Which one? The butter or butter? Yeah, because I need to smush it up. And then I usually put basil in it. Anything else? What's over here? No, I forgot what I need with the basil. You just have it on the counter. That's the chives. That's the celery. That's pepper. It's a regular. Okay, I can't find the basis. I'm gonna use a regular. Yeah. <laughs> it's a regular. I'm gonna put it back up. Did you? There it is over there. Alright, that's basil. Oh, uh, you see it shines. Mm -mm. No, you see it basil. I heard it Alright, so. And then I need some butter. Preferably a soft butter. But um, I'm gonna make it soft. So scooping out. Um, let's say I'm gonna do like I'm gonna do some scoops like this. Two of those. <laughs> That's probably about. This is probably about three tablespoons, te teaspoons all together with my scoops. How much I put in there? Okay. And then I take my little spoon or what have you and I mush all this stuff together. 
This is how I make my garlic uh, how you spell butter your spread. Name? Huh? I said, how you spell your name? C H. I named you. Huh. You know, it's very few people on my channel that actually know my real name. Oh, we didn't tell them there. Even the people that um, I'm on Facebook, they think that that's my real name. Okay. Which is so weird because some of the people I went to high school with, y'all know my name. Uh -huh. Okay, so we got the garlic bread going. Okay. While the uh, lasagna rests for its ten minutes. Why the fuck you spell then, lasagna? Oh, lasagna. Lasagna with, with the. With the, they got it with the E. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, no lasagna spill with the E. I agree. <laughs> okay. That smashed up garlic, but then the salty butter is the business. Yes. So I used to buy this from um, the grocery store, and I was like, I can make this at home myself. So you're doing the smashing up this garlic in the butter, and then um just add a. I like stuff a little bit sweet. Add a little hint of sugar, not much, and your basil, and your oregano. And that's just for the pretty color, for the most part. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna spread it on some bread. And then and I'm gonna toast it. it. Put it in the oven. And, oh, and put it in the oven. Oh, corn. So it's, it's getting real soft here, y'all. It's <sighs> okay, Who's that? McKinley. Oh, my little cousin. Um, my, if her sister's watching this, she probably um, see Hazy as her sister, but my little cousin, McKinley. Was supposed to graduate from high school today. She's on her way up to some school in New York. New York, Columbia, Columbia University. She got accepted into that school there. Um, are schools gonna still be in session this semester? They trying to yo yo that that drunk dude said they are. So he said he need to go back, but he trying um, to kill everybody. I don't trust him. I don't have. I guess you know what I'm gonna use my piece. Of pen. Can you give me my piece of pen? I use that. Turn my oven back on. It's a whole pan down there. For what? Okay. You, you, oh, see that pan right there at the bottom? Didn't know I own this. You don't. I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's in the house and you use it. <laughs> Can you? So we use a regular old nature's bread. If I'm missing conversation, I apologize. Honey, cat. Um. Let's see. Yeah. Columbia is top tier. Okay. I know she got in on a um, scholarship because she, she does a uh, shot put. Yeah, that's it. Girl is bad. Yes, she is. She's bad. She only 18. Yes. She has the 18 year old body that I want to get back right now. Oh, like, oh, now muscle. Can, can this I girl is bomb. Um, now we ain't got Texas toes. We got old nature's Ooh. own. We got old nature's own right here. And, uh, this is like honey wheat bread. So I'm just gonna take some of my little mixture and spread it on the bread like that there. And this is how I make my garlic bread. So we ain't got the, the, the pretty one that we saw on my community tab. We got this one. Curious about pretty, you know, it tastes good. I don't know, if you see that bread, you didn't want to make it too. It was just gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> she still hot little bread. Okay. Yeah, you do. So this should be done, you know, by the time this get done, we'll be able to eat for real. So. What? I'm, I'm over there. I'm so sorry. Um, see, you don't need pretty, and say the same thing, you don't need pretty garlic bread. <laughs> it's got to taste good. It and Keena said she would prefer my garlic bread over anybody. I don't know if she just said that because I'm her mama, but uh, I just realized I just made four pieces of bread and we got uh, three people in the house. So I really need to make six pieces. Everybody eat two. You gonna eat two pieces or you need one piece of bread? Just one. You know I ain't gonna finish. I don't know if Kenan needs one or two. I'm gonna go ahead and make the extra one. I don't know if it's just me. Or do y'all get like this too? Y'all cook after y'all get done cooking, y'all ain't hungry. I have to like wait at least 10, 15 minutes after I cook. Because um I don't be hungry. Except for when we do these live streams. Because as soon as I do it, oh it looks so good. After I do the live stream, I'll be able to have a taste taste test the food. You know, I got enough. I got enough butter mix. I really only need one scoop of butter. <laughs> I got enough butter mix for uh, and that just failed. I just got extra butter mix, so I'm gonna go ahead and do um six pieces. And we only got this much left, so 
What? I ain't putting the tag back on it. We ain't got nothing left with the butter bread. And I eat the butter. I eat the butter too good though. So, I think that's it. We're going to put this in the oven and then we'll be ready to eat. So, again, I just mixed up some minced garlic. A, tape, a teaspoon of salt, uh, not salt, a teaspoon of sugar, some oregano, some basil, some soft butter. Okay. We got I'm, it right I'm, here. I'm even. And we're going to stick it in the, in the oven. And then we can eat. After our dishes. What is that? I don't Why know. Why my phone keep cutting on and I ain't, I ain't doing it? I'm going to disrespect you. <laughs> My mama mm. likes this. She's gonna have my YouTube channel shut down with this music playing. I'm not trying to play nothing. Oh, uh, I eat more preparing. I eat more preparing food than I do when I. I do too. And I guess that's why I eat right after we do the stream because I. I, uh, I I'm not eating while I'm cooking like I normally do because I normally be eating while I'm cooking. Ooh, y'all kind of fall back then. And um, let me get to clean up this kitchen and eat some food for real. So, waiting on the bread to get done. Um. Yes, it's going to be doing it. I guess it's going to be And then, um, we can eat it for real. They got to sip on something. That's why I'm sitting on this water. I'm losing the signal again, so I'm assuming I'm going to lose it again on here. Um, huh? Can I cut this food? Can I cut the pasta? Did you wait 10 minutes like they say? I don't know. I forgot to look at the timer. No, you got five more minutes to go. No, that's right. You didn't. No, yeah, you can. Your time up. My time up? Your 10 minutes is up. Yeah, it was 8.05 when you took it out. Oh, yeah. Big I mean, here. use your knives. Sure, you don't want to use them. But you can't scoop it out with the knife. I just want to cut it. But you want to cut it with the cut? I'm going to let it go cut it then. I'm going to go cut it. Well, I ain't. You got it in your hand. Here we go. I was okay with knife. She don't want me to use a knife. Yeah. So that'd be nine pieces. Cause that'd be right there. That's four. Twelve pieces. Probably be twelve pieces. Four times three. It says it's supposed to be twelve servings. So like here, here, and then there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. Oh, see, your, your body all in the way. We trying to show people how you cut. Is it gonna cut up like that? Can you it's on her phone? It, it, just keep it, cutting it, on by itself. It does that back. Ooh. <laughs> Is it look crispy? No. Uh. I just didn't have a good aim. Kena's just waiting. She like. No, listen. Don't be scared. Song. Go on without you. Yeah. Put your back into it. And Will Smith. What? It's, really it's one of Will Smith's songs, ain't it? A remix of one of his songs. I heard. Oh, oh, this... I heard it was a remix of Will Smith's song, and Will Smith got on it. Oh no, it might be. I don't know, but it's good. She done messed that piece up. I didn't mess up nothing. The cheese did. <laughs> Why you acting all delicate? Cause I am. I'm a delicate flower. Oh jeez. Who needs a plate? Get, get a, pl a, a paper plate. Oh, that Kina. And yes, we are using paper plates. That's only because well, we have them. Right, cause when they're gone, we won't be. Thank you very much. Can you see the bread down the bucket? What it look like? Is it red? What's the definition of ready bread? Kind of brownish. Oh, yeah, it's Yes, good. it's ready. <laughs> All right, hold on. We need to take that out first. Yes, you do. That's a good song. That song slapped. Girl. All right. So here's our garlic bread. It's ready. <laughs> okay. I mean, your body. Got to be the test, test dummies first. Oh, I got to be a dummy. Give me some. Uh, some what? Can you give me that spoon right there, please? I thought it was the point of the spatula. That was to cut it. My mom's going to mess this all up. She's going to scoop it out. Instead I'm of, scooping it up, supposed man. to see the layer. That's why you're supposed to take it out with the spatula. Look. That's, I, 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 give me this, woman. No, you finna mess up. <sighs> my piece. <laughs> That lady B said she wish she had paper plates too. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm serious about 12 pieces, Jazzy. <laughs> yes, she is. And she's getting on my nerves because, uh. Anna say, hey, Kena. Uh, Look, hey, 
Just be real. Well, I don't know why your cousin in here messing up the layers. We're supposed to be able to see the layers of the lasagna. It's going to be a layer in my a scoop. I <laughs> scoop it. She going to lay it. I don't know. They look good, though. But, hey, it's hot. Yes. Thank you. I have to tell y'all that it's hot. So y'all going to burn our tongues when y'all eat this food. You know we're going to burn our tongue anyway, right? right? Bread. I'm going for my bread. I'm going for my it's bread, too. No, it ain't. Okay. All right, Bunky. Well, you got to taste it. Who? Oh, you. You got to tell people whether or not you like it. Oh, you telling me to tell people if I like something. True, because something was cooking okay. and you didn't like it. I did. That was something I was like, this don't taste right. <laughs> okay. Got a blow. You ain't on the camera. That's what I'm saying. Know. Black folks. I don't need nobody looking in my mouth. It's... Oh, you want to people that don't like to eat on camera? So weird. And? Yes, sir. We wait on your opinion. Oh, that's what you want to know. <laughs> I, I got to try it again. It's hot, woman. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's good. Okay. All right, Lady V, we got a winner. We got a right. winner. Move by the way so King can get next, her food now. Next round. <laughs> you can't have none. Oh, Lord. Is that good? <laughs> anyway, next round. <laughs> Take a food. Oh, the feed is still too pixelated. Take a pic. My mama took a picture. So it's on Facebook. But you still took a picture. That's the point. Oh, yes. I told you, yeah. I, I, I don't know. It might be a phone there. You might have to switch back to... Uh, it kept kicking us off. I don't get kicked off. You might have to switch back to Spectrum. No, oh. it wouldn't let me on that either. Then it might just be your phone, man. Did you say it kept... She didn't cut that part in. Oh. That's why I said she's supposed Why'd to cut the whole thing. Why you going to go in the wrong direction and stuff? Because that's the... go up. Well, you backwards. You're supposed to go across. But anyway. That's, why I, was, um, that's why I was trying to cut the whole thing and then you... She didn't go across on that either. Oh, you want that... Oh, Kim want that whole side. Whole side. Didn't goes, you know? She looks... Look, Keena's getting that entire side up there, y'all. Mm -hmm. The You let oh, her. she said put it on IG. What on? Anna say put it on IG. The, the oh, lady. cause she she follow you on IG she, too. She put it on. I know I'm, the man follow you on Facebook. Don't they know I'm special? <laughs> I think it's your phone. You kept saying it cut out. It kept cutting out. And I was like, I was streaming and everything at that time, and it was fine. You do need a new phone anyway. So. I do need a new phone. Well, my mama uh, messed up the prettiness of it as far as cutting it up, y'all. I'm just saying. That's why I should have did it myself. When you want something done right, you do it yourself. You messed up the prettiness. Uh, but no, I, know, I didn't. I know for me, like y'all said, ain't nothing. It, it's Only never too much cheese. Only grab two pieces. So I need to put some Parmesan on top of mine. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you right. Look, I'm going to tell you a secret. What? But they told me to stop eating cheese. They told you to stop eating cheese. The doctors? Yeah. That's one thing you can't never do with cheese. And I told her, <laughs> lady, that's going to happen. That's disrespectful. I'm, I'm saying, saying shit. shit. You didn't tell me to give up too much shit. Because of the way my mama cut this, I'm going to blame it on her. It, you, ain't got, I, you ain't got the layers. Yes, you do. But it slides. Take a but picture. it slides. We got the slide. And then uh, we like, sprinkled some parmesan on top of hers. Like, like, Who said that? Well, they did. The part of the lasagna. Oh, it's real pixelated on here. Thank you, Keisha Charmaine. I appreciate it. Who, what? Is this a FedEx her plate? I got you, girl. I'll tell it. I'll bring it back. back. Woman? Joe just told me that last night. He said he was sending for me. Uh, and uh, I don't know why I always talk to bread. <sighs> yep, you want to bread right to her? I'm going to FedEx your plate. I don't think you need no more bread. So I need some hot ice, and I got you. Mm. Mm. I really appreciate the super chat, y'all. Okay. Oh, I'm with Oh, what is that? Oh, that's cute. This will be a picture. I'm looking for it. Oh, yeah, what? Oh, 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 text me a picture. Hold on. I don't know where it's at. Oh, that's uh, good. It's good with burn. Oh, it's good. good. Oh, that's good. The roof of my house is like, girl. Okay. Okay, where you want me to send a picture to? She wants you to post it on Instagram, but you can text it to me so I put it on my YouTube channel. Yeah. You can put oh, it on Facebook too. People used to be able to post what it. What she want me to do? Kim. No, so she so already posted it on Facebook. Right. So what I want to do so to you it. Isn't it a good picture of Kim? You know, she hurt. She take pictures horribly. No, uh, it's a good picture. It's a good picture. Hand it back. Hand it back. I take pictures of people horribly. Where your Instagram map at? My food. Who? Instagram. It's a map. Instagram. Baby. Yeah. 
<laughs> my food getting cold. Shout out to my baby for this recipe. Uh, with the chicken stock, it tastes like ricotta okay. cheese. So that is pretty good. I like Do that. What? Just hit the hit what? <laughs> it was good. It this is, is the first time that we made something okay. that turned out right. Okay, next to you. That I didn't have to do adjustments to it later. Except the fact that it slid going? off, we didn't get our layers, but it's still it's good as mm -hmm. fuck. Oh, oh, wait, good. who is the person that saying it's supposed to slide? What they do, freeze there first? Or something? Because if it's hot and cheesy, it's slide. All right, NKB. Y'all have a good night. Goodbye. Yeah, and it was quick. An hour. We only been here in two hours and nine minutes. I don't know what we talked about, y'all. Everything. Beyonce. Mary Devine. Oh, we talked about Mary Devine. Without no singing ass. Um, <laughs> that's what I came down to. What are we talking about? We talked about we the talked about we the just, rich. Yeah, she just told me. It's from 2016. I didn't even know Ice had expired. <laughs> yeah, our medicine expired. Two face, all that shit. Why you still got it? Because it still works. Yeah, it, it works. It's just a delay. Know, but, <laughs> delayed. <laughs> but it works. Good lord, that whole day. <laughs> but it works. Shout out to a uh, beautiful soul for my first super chat of the night. Ty. On the Ty Say What I Said channel. Go ahead, slide some money to me. Um, peace, Charmaine. Shout out to all three of you guys for supporting me with the super chats. And um, y'all help me keep these going each month for real. Oh, so before we go, Let's anybody see. got any suggestions for next month? What are we gonna be cooking? There is something I want to make, but I gotta see how long it takes. That's a, it's a Korean dish. Yeah, Anyone wanna try Korean dish? It's fried chicken and like. Cheese and stuff is really good. Really good. Now see, you just messed up my chicken. Mm -hmm. Fried chicken and cheese? You put it's cheese, a whole bunch of stuff. You I'll put cheese you. on the fried chicken, you just blew it, kid. Mm. I got me a bit of something to cook for next time. Um, I said something vegetarian. Okay. See, I was, I was going to make, I was gonna make the spinach lasagna, but, but you hot. said no. Boy, it's for a soup. Shit, you got air conditioning. Yeah. It ain't that hot. That being the meat soup back in St. Louis? Mm. It's vegetarian. Yeah. Oh, that was so good. Okay, we'll make it. Shit. Oh, hot pot? No, it was like gum, gum pie or something. It was basically hot pot. I might make, I'm okay, I'm gonna I'm look at this vegetarian Turn soup that I had back in St. Louis. Because I got the recipe. It's Because I don't do, I don't know the other vegetarian dishes that I would like to really learn to try. And that's going to be a curry or something. I love vegetarian curry dishes. But I got like a whole recipe book of vegetarian dishes, so maybe I can pick some out there too. But maybe that soup, because that soup was fire, y'all. Oh, it had like, um... I ain't a soup person. You're not a soup person? It was good, I'm telling you. You know, I hate soup. Then you ate it the next day? I don't like to drink. Well, I, mean, I didn't drink mine. That's weird. I just ate all of it, because it was like, it's a, it's a thick, it's something like a stew almost when it be done. That sounds like it. No, no, hot pot is usually better. It was good. This is good. Thank you, Lady V. Is it? The garlic bread good, all that stuff. This is good. I'm having a damn good time. Start I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm gonna finish y'all some plates. We got a lot left. I think I figured out from that. This is hearty. I probably won't eat more than once today. You know, I eat, I eat twice. Once I get off camera, y'all, I get a second plate. I should have got one. The whole point of this was supposed to be so I could help lose weight by cooking at home. I still don't think I lost much. Time and a half. Y'all know, we'll see. Um, um, I don't like eating on camera, but I'm eating on camera right now. Y'all yeah, weird. I'll say it every every time. I should do it. I eat so, um, we're making a family pack. We talked about movies. What else we talk about? I'm no longer Kiwi. Oh! Kina is doing her uh, her um, stream on Twitch. Mm -hmm, you know, she's mm -hmm. a gamer. Mm -hmm. If y'all into that type of thing, or y'all just want to support her. She is now Honey Cat. Yep. H U N N Y. Mm hmm. The ghetto added to C A double T. C A double T. C A double T on Twitch. And uh, y'all can follow her stream there. You're good. You're good. He ain't got two helpers. I know. And you know what, though? What I'm noticing? If I had used ground beef, it been a lot more richer flavor. I mm -hmm. use ground turkey, and it's really good with the ground turkey. But if I had used ground beef, the flavor would have been a little bit more robust too. 
it probably would have been really on point. So I'm gonna have to try this again one day with a uh, actual ground beef. It makes a difference. Cause don't let people fool you when they say ground turkey tastes just like ground beef. It's, it's a lot. It's, it has its own flavor. Who's that here? And cause ground turkey is a lot drier type of meat than ground beef is. You don't have all the extra fat that ground beef will add to the flavor. And sometimes the fat is just good. It's just it added seasoning. I didn't have to add any extra salt or pepper. Oh, we used a flavor. teaspoon of salt. That was it. In this whole pan, one teaspoon of salt. That's crazy. That ain't 99 no. Mm-hmm. Um, I think 98. What else am I thinking of? I'll go back to work tomorrow. Um, okay, I'm going to say this piece. Traveling Talk Tuesday is coming up. I'm watching Insecure tonight. So I can try to get insecure out to y'all by Tuesday or Wednesday at the latest. Um, there's something else that I wanted to talk about. I just got full. Maybe I shouldn't have got two pieces. Money heist. I'm still going with that. I think everything else. I think that's it, y'all. If I happen to get another letter, there's a couple more people told me they were going to send me letters. If I happen to get another letter, we'll do another dear poetry. That's actually pretty fun. I like doing that with y'all. And I do like the live, their poetry. That was fun. So we might have to do that again. Who wants to make your friends send me questions? So they always ask me stuff anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can give y'all a scenario. Woo! Let's see how my YouTubers address that scenario. That'd be good. Interesting to see how they... So we don't have an actual letter. I might do a scenario that's going on with... Uh, how often do you do that? Uh, just randomly. And um, we get y'all opinions, in my opinion. Because I really didn't give a good opinion. This is really good. I'm going to come down. What's that say? Get more than I Oh, what happened? She you grew up. me as an anime? I'm going to be oh. honest, y'all. I don't really draw that much no more. Let's see. What did you say? <laughs> my comments not showing up on the screen. That's what we got to do our head comments. Okay, so, um, let's see. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. There you go. Okay. So, Keisha Stormare says she loves soup anytime. Oh, peach cobbler. I bet you it was my damn cousin suggested to do a peach cobbler. <laughs> uh, Trini food. Ooh. Because I want to learn how to make roti skin. I finally got the recipe on how to make the roti skin. I used to always go buy them. So, now I got the recipe. I'm going to try it. And I don't want to mess it up because I want some, um, Roti with curry potato and chicken. Okay, so um, never too hot for soup. Puma agree with that too. Mm -hmm. And the soup is fire. I swear the soup is fire. Um, yeah, it's not popular. I knew it. My damn cousin the one asked peach cobbler. Do peach cobbler. That's if you know. I know. Yeah, it's popping up now. Love soup anytime. Okay. So you didn't see me drink. Yeah, I was real, but y'all, my bad. <laughs> But it wasn't popping up on, on my phone, so I, I was missing all those comments. I thought y'all was just quiet, just watching me eat. <laughs> I, don't really, um, I don't really draw no more, y'all. I drew like one thing recently, and that was it. Well, Anna said she want to see you draw. Mm. I don't really draw that much no more. I need like, I gotta be in the mood, and that's rare for me to be in the mood to draw lately, because college messed that up for me. Um. I don't know, maybe I can do like a little 3D modeling thing. Um that I was doing. So Kenny gonna consider she's gonna think about drawing. I'm thinking about drawing. I'm actually gonna try to draw her logo. I used to draw. Oh yeah, my little character that I made. So her logo for her Twitch show, um try to draw it. Um She said just stop telling people I know her. She the only mug in this doggone chat with a blue wrench. Just cause she wanted to look different from everybody else. You know I gotta know you. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, homemade roti. Oh my goodness! I wish I could. I, I, I've always messed it up, Keisha. I just, but I, I got the recipe book now. Uh, uh, what this? Huh? I'ma cook that for Vito. Uh, okay. Actually, you know what? Throw it on the George Foreman grill. You don't even know seasons or nothing. And the George Foreman grill to cook it within two minutes. I don't really just hold that break. Um. So maybe I can show y'all me drawing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't the next thing I'll probably do, like art wise. My batteries are dying, y'all. I, I just got a message saying it's, the battery's running low. Just, uh, with, since, since, 
I'm live again. Okay, since so tie was verse one, uh, since the amount of ties to the chat is the highest one, we're going to try to vegetarian this. It's going to be hard though because we're not vegetarians in this house. We like meat. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make a dish that everybody going to like. It got to be something that everybody going to eat. Because I don't, don't want to just cook. Just to be cooking, I have to actually want to eat the food. So, Peace. it got to be something I can try that I'm everybody going to eat. Um, and then, but the roti, yeah, okay, okay. So everybody getting off here. So you know, you know, didn't make it yours come out too tough. I, I don't know what I'll be doing wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So, but me and these got two people that here for the vegetarian. Then we got uh, at least four people here for the roti. So we got two different options. I mean, I could actually, if I leave the chicken out of the roti, it'd be a vegetarian roti. Because I could just make curried potato and just leave the chicken out. Or I could do two different versions of it. Yeah, we could try that too. I don't know, maybe, but I'm, I might be on to something. But thank y'all for being here. I really appreciate y'all. And like I said, um, especially sticking through with my screen dropping as much as it did. So, and I hope it's not as pixelated as what I'm seeing on this doggone screen. Y'all just have a good night.